I love your bits. Oh God. And thank you for them. This time I waited though. Hello, pumpkin guy in chat. Yeah. Good vibes. All. How was your weekend? It, it was pretty good. Thank you. It was actually very good. It was uh, splendiferous. Until apparently Twitch started cracking down on everybody using like music in the background or for opening themes. So, uh, yeah. Remember when Twitch used to be fun? <laughs> no, no. Okay, here's the story. For those who don't know, let me just get this out there. Because, no, I had this whole thing planned. And I was, like, really uh, not happy about having to use, like, uh, your canned music, frankly, um, that you use for your chippy, chippy episodes. Because... We used to like go through a lot of trouble, pick out songs that would fit the scene. I think we were going with Psychedelic Furs, Pretty in Pink today. And guess what? That didn't work. You want to know why? Can't use it. Um, so what happened recently, last couple of days, a lot of high-profile streamers, which doesn't include us, um, kind of got like 24-hour bans for actually just playing music in the background. And I'm like, what, really? What, how long has been Twitch been around? Now all of a sudden it's like, oh, uh, stop that. What? What? Wait, what? It's like, here's some air for five years. And then them saying, you know what? Uh, stop breathing. <sighs> That's it. That's it. I think it's over, man. You know, unless somebody finds out some new info. Um, I didn't I didn't mind the VODs, certain parts of the VODs being muted because, uh, you know, use some music. That's fine. I get that. Um, but man, just live background music that's kind of that's a big bowl of suck right there that is uh suckalicious that's what that is it's a big bowl of suckalicious suckios <sighs> anyway let's say hi to everybody i uh, know we'll we'll figure it out yeah. who did is it wrong to be checking out a fictional character pauline is looking freaking gorgeous the doctor will see you now and perhaps give you colorful candy. See, that song would have been appropriate. Good morning, all. Five moots, but been watching since the days of new grounds and hot topic. Hey! Love Pauline's outfit. Yeah, she's looking very candy today. Oh, another song we can't play. Do you have anything to end this? Oh my god, we have no candy song. Why is anyone even here? Oh, man. We gotta figure out. We gotta figure out the. the uh, we have to just rely on covers now. Oh, bad YouTube. Is there a ukulele version of the candy song by MC Chris? I need that. Dink a dink a dink. I want candy. Bubble gum. You know, God, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's all or nothing, man. Thank you and thank you. Um, I guess it's okay to be checking out a fictional character. I don't know, is fi calling somebody a fictional character uh, a derogatory thing? I don't know, I'm as real as it gets, bro. What's up? Today, Charlie birthday. Charlie! <laughs> what? <laughs> is that real? Sassy Grizz, Charlie! Happy birthday, Charlie! Charlie's birthday! For those who don't know Charlie, it's Charlie. It's his birthday. I don't know, we got good vibes for Charlie. Good vibes for Charlie! Happy birthday! I don't know what I'm going to do. I I, for, I didn't I didn't realize it was his birthday. Would have got him a gift or something, you know, like a, a couple of cheese doodles or something. What? Hello. Birthday. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Um, who? Sassy Grids. What? That's it. That's it? Nothing? You could have been like, happy birthday, Charlie. Just... Most of that Twitch music banning should have been reversed, and it was only for 24 hours. You should be totally fine in most cases. And most the candy cases. song, MC Chris is a nice guy and probably wouldn't care. Welcome back, you crazy yeah, individual. Yeah, I'll get to that in a second. Have a cookie. I was wishing happy birthday. Good day, birthday. pumpkin guy. I missed the two streams, but now I have my PC up and running hey. so I can watch you on the PS4 and chat with you on the PC. Well, from what I heard, the whole banning thing was an accident. Twitch apparently said that wasn't supposed to happen, but I'm still iffy on using music on my streams now. Hmm. Hmm. Good morning, PG, Pauline, and chat. 
Pauline is totally rocking the the twin tails. Good vibes to all. Hello pumpkin I guy and chat. I love Pauline's outfit and I love the OG music so it works for me. Charlie B Day. Charlie B Day. <laughs> well, these morning moons like happy birthday Charlie. Oh, yeah. You certainly are having a difficult time finding your way back to normality. Woohoo, a collective 12. We're still alive. One year. <laughs> 12 moons. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so really that was accidental? And I know M MC Chris would probably be like cool with it or whatnot, but um, does he own his own music? That's the problem. It's the record labels, not the artist. Because the song that got used, um, I forget the person's name, but they tweeted them. They're like, yo, dude, I got a 24-hour band for using your music. And he's like, what? <laughs> so it's, it's as usual, it's the record companies just saying, hey, Hey, guy, stop playing the music. It's like, dude, it's free advertising. Especially if, like, if you're like a huge streamer like Ninja, right? And you have like 90,000 people watching you. If if somebody plays one of those songs of yours, I, what? Donation to the Music Licensing Fund. Yeah. <laughs> God. How much is it to license a song? Like $12,000 now? Um. Thank you. I'm going to put it towards the cheapest song I can find, which will probably be uh, something from the 20s that nobody's heard of. Happy Charlie B Day and hello, nurse. There's no nurses here. Um, Charlie, happy birthday. I'm sorry everybody steamed all over to good well wishes uh, oh, to Charlie. You know Raptor Moon here. Hey! I'm studying for my physics test on Tuesday. Physics? I've also got a psychology paper due and psychology test on that date, too. But hey, I'm losing weight again, hey. so there's that. That's good. Dude, look at the bright side. Pauline should wear that more often. Also, thrift store finds? Um, oh god, yeah, we did have a couple, but we didn't prepare them. They're all dirty and dusty. We didn't clean them yet. Did you add more shirts on Amazon? Not yet, because we had, uh, pr predicament debacles. Um, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Eventually. What about the potato chip song? Uh, oh, huh, that, that is, that is kind of digging through the uh, ancient relics there. Huh. Potato chips. That could be a thing. I think we maybe use that. I know Slim Gallard going to return from the grave to kill us for doing that. I don't know who owns it, but they're probably going to come after us now. Um, oh, yeah, and the EU is screwing things up. Yeah, they're trying to ban memes. Don't get me started on that. <sighs> Again, it's like, you know, copyright holder stuff. Um, God, can I say hi to everybody? Hold on. Crusader Chaos. The stream rocks. Thank you. Just wait around. It gets worse. Um, let's see. It rained for three days straight this week. My driveway and yard were mug pits. Mug pits. I'm assuming you meant mud. But that would be cool. A pit of mugs? Dude, that'd be like like a cof coffee cup graveyard. <laughs> oh, coffee cup, we knew ye well. And then you just kind of put it in there and you're like, oh, sorry. Join the rest of your brethren. Got my pumpkin guy coffee mug. It's awesome. Hey, awesome. Dude, thank you. Thank you for getting a mug. That is awesome. I'm on a mug. She put Pauline on a mug. Thanks for the follow. Um. What the hell was I going to say? I didn't get to say hi to everybody, anyone except Charlie, because it's his birthday. Charlie birthday. Chucky birthday. What's up? How's it going? Okay. Anyway, happy birthday again. Um, where to go? Sassy Grizz, Acadian Dragon. Ow. How's it going? How you doing? You're alive. <laughs> How's it going? Um, the Johnny Wolf. Hello, Jim and everybody. Auto von Neck Punch. Poof. Oh. Only here for a minute, but wanted to say thanks, BG. You're welcome. Thank you. What? It's cool. Um, let's see. Then, then, then a mug on a mug. Oh, can you do a mug on a mug? Can you draw me on a mug? No, wait, you did the Pauline one, the little one where she's sipping uh, the coffee. So technically it's Pauline on a mug with a cup. So no, nah, that's not, that's not really a beverage inception right there. So mm, let's see. Shadow Star, Silent Surge, McCask, Fabio Gump, Bloody Angel, Brass Bubba, and NBC Thanos, Pits Almighty, Zeke and Hive, Mazel, what's up? Mm, demo man, what's up? D dis nerd, dis nerd, dis nerd's here. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, Interrupt them on. What's up? 
Morning Moon, Cameron DeCorgi, Mad McCall, Wildfire Road Warrior. I don't know. I'm in a good goofy mood today because uh, we we got gifts. We got gifts gifts from from someone, which we'll go through later, because there was like four Welcome, of them. My unstable friend. It's like half fun, half work. Five big ones. Many more to come. What, David? Five moods. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Is Did it? you take the background photo for today's stream? The Th graffiti artwork is really cool. Yeah, I wish I knew who did it. It was like literally, um, where's the background from? Morgue file, right? If anybody ever needs backgrounds that are like kind of just free to use, there you go. Morgue file. It's a website where people basically post their pictures and it's like a creative commons thing. They're like, here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> That's it. Thank God for them. Ugh. I wish more people would do that with music too. So that would have a bigger selection. I know like Twitch has their own little royalty free library of music you can use, but I got to tell you, I cannot sit and listen to EDM 24 seven while, while you're doing artwork. I would literally just make more eye holes. I was going to say gouge out my eyes, but I give me don't power. have any. This stream is sponsored by Copico. Copico. I really wish it was Copico. Call me and just give me money just because you love me. Uh, let's see. Where did I leave off? Uh, 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 gr what? Grove twig. Grove twig. Bad start to the day. Last night's laundry caught on fire at 4.30 this morning. Good vibes, though. How does laundry catch on fire? Isn't it, like, wet? <laughs> what kind of flammable material are you wearing? Dude, how does laundry catch on fire? Oh, the dryer, the dryer. Oh, you got to clean out the okay. dryer, dude. Spice. Latte. Here we go. For all. Artificially flavored. Glad you look better than last time I saw you. Keep well. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Um, what was the last time? Oh, was that when I was sick? I had a big frowny face on. I'm sorry. That was a bad day for me. That was a bad week for us, frankly. Um, yeah. Thank you. I get, I get derped. We are. Are we? Oh. Mad. Here. A little angry. Relax. 42! Bang, boom, pow! <laughs> One moon. <laughs> Thank you. I like that, dude. It's like like a Batman sound effect. So when they come... No, when they show up to chat, I should be like, bang, boom, pow! 42. Let me just enjoy my life. I'm stealing that bike later, by the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Terms of service. I am borrowing that bike later. No, dude, I can gnaw through that. The chain? <laughs> a little chain's going to bother me. Uh, whatever. Um, there better be air in those tires. Doesn't have a basket for me to ride in. Pop. Yeah, no, whatever. Keep picking your nails. Um, where the hell did I leave off? Uh, Cameron. Cameron DeCorgi, you lost Pixie. Vigilante Wolf. Uh, Mullet Man. Matthew. Matthew, what's up? It was after getting the laundry out of the dryer. Just kind of burst into flames. Don't know. So what? You're like folding a towel and all of a sudden... Pfft, what? Were you smoking near it or something? Because that is so weird. I've heard of dryers catching on fire where, you know, it's like you don't clean out the little uh, lint trap or whatever and it gets so hot in there, it just catches fire. I clean it out every time you do laundry. Um, yeah, but I'm literally wearing a, a arm sleeve, so it's like, you know, I only got to do laundry like every once in a while. And I don't like mixing my clothes with hers because then, you know, some of my stuff turns out black, which I'm fine with, but then some of it turns out kind of like a weird reddish hue because of the pink i know you got you got to separate the lights and darks well i know not with new clothes but she she always got to get the vintage stuff at the thrift stores you know you're a fashionist what if she's sleeping what either the dryer is faulty or that's the best damn dryer ever <laughs> i know right <laughs> thank you um how was dawn doing with her carpal tunnel um exercises she tried them and her arm still hurt. So she's been very uh, cautious. She's kind of waiting for them to get to normal because when you do exercises for carpal tunnel, it kind of messes up your uh, arm because it's stretching out things that probably haven't been stretched out. So she's got to, it's a, it's a process. Um, yeah, we tried it too, and that did not help us either. I don't, I don't know what it was. Now, we saw some stretching exercises. The massage ones were pretty good. Those actually helped a little bit, but the stretching ones we saw, um, for some reason, that's just 
aggravating us. Hello, Pumpkin Guy. What's up? Since there is another dragon here, I know you call me Dragon Love. Here you go. My first name is Alexandina. I appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Oh, sure. okay. Alec? The average human has Alec! been enough to us. <laughs> we applaud your inability to be rehabilitated. Stop segregating clothes. They do have a point. They they really do. <sighs> I know, 2018, we should be beyond that. <sighs> Thank you. That, 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 I am not going to remember. Alexandrina. Sandrine, Sandrina, what's up? Hello, pumpkin guy. Hello, chat bagels to all, and thank you for the thank you note and for me called card gem. Yay! That's it. Okay, good, good. Okay, so that means I can send you other stuff as a thank you because because Rogue Alchemist was the gift giver of the week apparently because that they sent us like a, basically everything we needed off the. Uh, Amazon wish list along with stuff we didn't need but we wanted and now we are really happy that we got and if you're going to be around we wanted to go through it later because it's just such like literally dude I oh nah, yeah 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 you know it's fun okay um thank you no but now I can now I can send them thing I want to send them thank you I really do yeah how are you doing Matthew I'm doing all right how are you doing we're doing okay hmm looking at that bike though ah let's see I was trying so hard not to make that clothing joke. <laughs> uh, you have a link to said messages. Uh, I got a little carpal tunnel. That's what, who who had the link? I don't have it on me right now. It's like I think it's in my other wallet. Left the clothes in the basket and went to bed. Woke up to the smell of smoke and my towels caught on fire. Oh well. That's insane. What you just? Are you getting your clothes from China? I mean, wh who just leaves, like, all right, these are all done and folded. I'm just going to leave them right here, and then, you know, I'll put them away tomorrow morning. And then you wake up in the, the middle of the night, your power. towel is on fire. Pauline is dressed as a power puff girl. She does kind of look power puffy. Where are your shoes? Dude, did she? She doesn't have shoes on. Oh, those socks are going to get filthy. I'm not cleaning those. Very sleepy today. Can I have that? Whatever. Um, mm, I don't know. You get, no, I want to know what people think. Because she picked out her, her own clothes this time. I know, right? It's crazy. She usually asks me. She's I like, what do you think of this? Very own. Enjoy. Drill it. Ten moons. Good morning. Good vibes. Hum, what did I miss? She's pinky and you're the brain. Nice. That's pretty good. I like that. We should have, see, we should have opened up with uh, Pretty in Pink. That would have been a perfect song. You know, we were going to do the whole thing. Like, no, we had the intro screen, like, all set up. Where is it? Show them. Eventually. There, yeah, you want to show up? Uh, there we go. That was going to be our intro stream, but we had to change it because of the music. It's like, nah, Pretty in Pink, nah. I was kind of accurate, right? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, no, but we had to start with the dark and gloomy intro because all your music is dark and gloomy. Now, why don't you lighten up? You don't have any fun lightening, lighten up music. Okay, that's not not in your soul. Okay, all right. Um, let's see. Morning, pumpkin. Oh, oh, Salandria. What's up? And. Ten days until Independence Day. Going to a barbecue picnic. Going to make my fried pies again. Fried pies! It's a whole pie of fries. I'm assuming. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. I'm just, you know, making fun. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fourth of July. Are we doing a thing? We got to talk about our carpals. Wait. Leave Aline alone. She is very fashionable today. Ten intense. You got to... Oh, God. Well, if she was awake, she'd appreciate the comment. Why is she so sleepy today? And what was it with that? Like a weird little earthquake. Is Dawn nearby? Okay. Um, where do I? Uh, no, no, no. Morning. Oh, Jason Landry. Egg. Ah, uh, repost. Going to look at a house in Sacramento today after the stream. Ooh, Sacramento. Dude. Is that expensive? I don't even know what the price is over there. I just know everything in California is just up there in the un unaffordable stratosphere of life. Hey, guys. How is it up there? 
<laughs> Just throw down your technological scraps when you can. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Silicon Valley, you're killing California. Uh, let's see. High quality is not dark and gloomy. Uh, reminiscing, but not dark. Hmm. Uh, eh, kind of dark. Let's see. What kind of snake should I bring to your stream? Nothing with pumpkin in it, I see. Snake? Are there pumpkin snakes? Or did you mean shake? Snake? Snake? No, we're not doing that. No, every, every other streamer does that. Okay, never mind. I forget about the Metal Gear Solid reference. Uh, what's a baker's favorite action movie? Pie Hard? Not the name of like an adult cinema thing? Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see. Morning. <laughs> Anime Fanatic, what's up? Yeah. yeah, it's been a while. You haven't been here in a while. I know, they got a life, right? God. Hydrobot. Hydrobot? Oh, Hydrobot, go drown yourself. Uh, da -da -da -da. SoundCloud. Got iced coffee, buzz, buzz, buzz. Gonna get hyper, buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> I got iced coffee, but it's not doing anything for me. I went to bed at 1 o'clock in the morning, and I woke up at 6. So, uh, uh yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Bring Snake from Simpsons. Two and a half years. A lobotomy is in order. 30 months, yeah, Tilda. 30 months! <laughs> thank you. Amnesiac Sage, thank you. Oh my god. And what? Who's got Monster Hunter World? Zangetsu! Zangetsu! Got Monster Hunter World. We didn't get that because we saved up all our. Uh, for those who don't know, you know, Microsoft, they got the Bing points. You, you do your little searches on there and whatever to give you Bing points. We saved them all up. Because I meant what kind of snacks? Stupid autocorrect. What kind of snacks? I don't know, whatever snacks you want. No, I'm not eating them. Am I? Am I? I don't know. Nothing with pumpkin in it. <laughs> um and, uh, wow, that was the first time we got a warning about high CP usage. What the, I haven't done anything different in three years what are you talking about all of a sudden you can't handle it computer i will beat you senseless like an unwanted what would you beat if you didn't want like a cardboard box i will jump up and down on you until you're squishy and then i'll recycle you and then you'll be a straw that nobody likes you good you cool yeah let me turn off one thing just to see what happens Oh, God. Dun, dun, dun. Wish me luck, people. Oh, God. I'm turning off a thing. Oh, no. All right. I might have freed up something. What the hell, man? Dude, was there like an update I didn't know about that says, oh, let's use more resources? <sighs> well, it's not Sunday without technological mishaps. And that's why we have new emotes that say, lag. Lag! Seriously, don't use those if I'm not lagging because I can tell. All right, just use them when we are lagging, which will inevitably happen. Oh, God. All right, I messed something. Like like a Timmy. <laughs> I forgot about Timmy. He's just so out of my mind. Um, lost in the forest, probably in a ditch. Uh, could be in a microwave. Or is he still stuck in a freezer at the bottom of a crevasse? Who knows? It's a mystery to all of us. Mm, anyway. Dun, 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 dun. And stream dies. Unwanted Timmy viruses. I'll be all right. Sunday is all about good vibes, but the heat is really getting to me. I just wanted to be October and cold slash spooky already. Yes, that's what I want. I want mid to late September and then a really long October. I hate when October shows up and it's like gone and then everything's like, oh, it's November. Oh, it's Christmas. Eh. Hey, PG, do you like Ska? If so, check out Desmond Deck. He has this great song called She Was a Dracula that might fit Pauline D. Hmm. Pray ordered the Fallout 76 Power Armor Red for PS4. I'm going to give it a chance. Add me Alio 07 if you want a friend and not grief. Friend, huh? Hmm. Friend. <laughs> Timmy needs good vibes. <laughs> uh, not if he's dead. Um, he's fine. Um, anyway, 
<laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. You got Fallout 76. Hey, and yes, I do like Ska. She was a Dracula. There better be a good horn section. Trade my Turbo Graphics 16 console for 20 plus PS4 game and wow. a PS3 with 30 game to add to my collection. Wow. But had to tell the guy I rated with my Atria 2600 was not for sale. I'm assuming you meant Atari. We had a fundraiser at the house yesterday. We did a crawfish boil and had about 160 pounds of crawfish. Oh, that's a lot. Speaking of California, they are voting to be three states. Also went to a renaissance fair yesterday and had a good time. Paid a fire-eating pirate $20 to light his nipple on fire and put it on an inlet torch. What is wrong with you? Why would you do that? Hey, hey, pirate! Put your nipple on fire for me. Here's some money. Just do it. You're like the, you're like the person in school that e eggs the, uh, the little kid on to eat worms. <laughs> you're, you're terrible. Well, I know that's his job to set himself on fire, but, uh, you know, maybe he took out his frustration on that person's laundry. They're like, you know what? Fine. You want my nipples on fire? Here are your bath towels. <sighs> ah, Rand fairs. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And I, I want to know what's hold on. I, I got to do a control alt delete to see what's using up all this memory here. Don't yell at me, computer. Uh, don't ask me what I want. I just want the task manager, please. It's a task. Oh, uh, well, Your I can bits close. give me power. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, I'm on a boat with a couple of wackos shaking my hips and dipping my fat toe in the water, dipping in the water. This party getting hotter. It's so hot, it's stupid. Is it? Thank you. No, I just, I, I know this is stupid, but I'm looking at my uh, CPU usage. Why is Firefox using, like... A gig of RAM. Are you kidding me, man? Slow that down, please. Other than that, it's OBS. But OBS is 18%, and Firefox is 11%, and miscellaneous are very, very tiny. Though iTunes was taking up a big chunk of memory for some reason. That recently got an update, so, uh, yeah. iTunes! What are you doing?! What the, well, I, I, now that I can't play music from anybody anymore, then you know what? It doesn't even matter. Why bother making playlists of, of songs I love and want to share to everybody? You tell me. Speaking of California wanting to split up, why is this even a thing? I don't know. They want to be difficult over there. You know Control-Shift-Escape is a quicker way to task manager. I did not know that, but now I do. At Jim Mathers, it's also Control, Shift, and Escape for Task Manager. So I just got 20 cents because I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I blame Josie and Timmy because no one likes Timmy. I don't think Timmy's taking up any resources, both digitally and in the real world. No, if you don't feed him and give him water, then what resources is he taking? None. Yeah, if anything, he's being uh, he's re being recycled right now into the earth. You know, he's a nutrition for future plants. Just saying. Yeah, hi hypothetically, hypothetically. Um. Anyway, let's see. Where do they go? Um. Mm. Firefox is using one gig just to watch your stream. What the hell? I thought Firefox was supposed to be like all super efficient and whatnot. Bloop, bloop, bloop. What? Where is Quasan Bob? Maybe he is taking up resources XD. Did you literally say that with a French accent? It said croissant. What a pompous robot. Oh my God, did you hear that? Can't, says, can't say pumpkin guy, you know, but it'll say croissant. What, where is croissant Bob? Really? Really? Croissant. Qu croissant. <sighs> anyway, I am missing chat. My iTunes library is too big. It's honestly over 900 gigabytes. It's becoming a problem. Apple TV is amazing. Is it? I don't know. But you know what? We should uh, offload uh, iTunes, put it on the other computer, and see if we can just run it through there. Might be a little tricky with backgrounds in use, but, um, you know, it'll make life easier, frankly. <sighs> 
Or we could get a new $8,000 computer. You know, come on, come on. You know you want to. One that has VR, so Don can play games. I don't know. <laughs> I know, don't laugh. Um, anyway, where do they go? You're doing good. Matthew's doing good, good. Twitch is using one gig to show the stream here, too. Wow, that's weird. Hmm. I think it's time for another fun bot test again. No. Nah, it's not the people who want to do it. It's being pushed by the government. People will not vote for it. Oh, for the California thing? I don't understand. Why would you want to split? That's like New York splitting up into like, no, wait, there's five boroughs, and they might as well be their own states. Um, no, nah, man, when you're from a borough in New York, it's like, oh, I'm from Brooklyn. Oh, I'm from Queens. Get the hell away from me. You know, it's, it's so weird. <sighs> and the Bronx want nothing to do with nobody. <laughs> Sorry, I got, I got a little New York there. Uh, or I can build you a computer. Oh. Oh. Let me, let me take you up on that one day. I know, I got to see what we need. Because we got two, we got two uh, junky computers. One one is, um, I'm not going to even say it's junky. It's just like, what, four years old now? So it's just kind of... Robot says drink more coffee now. Oh, okay. No, nah, I'm, I'm literally drinking coffee right now. Hold on. <clears throat> hey, I worked in the South Bronx. It's nasty. Nasty? Is that what you're saying? Um, yeah, it's not the best of areas. Certain areas have actually gotten a lot of uh, a lot better because um, some of the mm, questionable uh, criminal, I guess, aspects kind of got pushed out somehow. And there's been an influx of um, Indian immigrants. It's really, it's really weird, and they're fixing the place up. I went with Dimmerman to the fair. The pirate had bored of people that had him light his nib on fire. We were the 42 person to have him do it. Wow. Speaking of California, state law states that you may not swim in a pool if you have had diarrhea in the last 14 hours. Who's going to admit to that? At Jim Mathers, why can't all five boroughs unite as one and say screw you to the world? Because they got to be difficult. No, the whole thing about like when you're in New York, it's like no matter where you live, you, it's it's a badge on your arm for the rest of your life. You know, like, oh, I'm from Queens. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Long Island. It's like literally that's just. Doesn't even matter if you moved. You moved. You lived in New York, and you're like, I'm a New Yorker. Yeah. So, um, it's weird. I don't know why. My laptop is nine years old right now. Oof. Oof. I'm glad you can even watch this. Now, some old laptops can kind of handle it. Um, now you still got that old XP that's still chugging along. But literally, we're streaming from a laptop. It's it's a very decent laptop, but um. It ain't the best, so, you know, it'll hang in Have there. Have you heard about the cold brew machines that some gas stations are getting? It's pretty cool. What the? Where? Where are they getting these? Oh, my God. Dude, cold brew coffee machine. It's about time. Finally, progress. It is truly 2018. We have now moved forward as society. A very well-caffeinated society. Cold brew coffee machines. Well, thank God. The caffeinated gods. Ah, oh, someone listen to my prayers. Thank you. All right, now I just need one in my area because my area's got like, hey, you want you want uh, ice coffee? Here's some ice cubes. Go nuts. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. And then you try to you try to finagle it somehow, and it just ends up being like brown, muddy water that looks questionable. And you're like, ah, this is terrible. But it does have caffeine. I'll drink it anyway, even though it's awful. <laughs> a little caffeine anyway. It's kind of watered down. Uh, maybe I can put some cream and sugar and it. it'll be like a milkshake. No, it's just very watered down, dirty milk. But I'll still drink it. At least it's not filled with nitrogen or whatever that hippie crap was. Um, anyway, I miss you guys. Russ, what's going on? Been gone for two moons. Uh, 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 don't let me hear you talk smack about the Bronx. <laughs> hey, Dawn is from the Bronx, man. What the hell? <laughs> Come on. Dude, seriously. She she will tell you stories about the Bronx. You know how many times she got pulled over by the police? Yeah. It's just, she's just walking out of the street. They're like, what are you doing here? <laughs> I live here. And you're like, 
They're like, no, no, that's impossible. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, where did I leave off? I want to send you original PlayStation game. Do you have a working original PlayStation? Yes, we do, but it is not hooked up, and we don't know when it will be. So if it's something you can resell for a large amount of money, I suggest you do that. Because by the time we get to it, it'll take forever. Oh, my God, speaking of games, no, I was talking about the uh, my little Microsoft points. Because we have accrued a large amount of credit from Microsoft using their whatever browser to give you little rewards, et cetera, et cetera. Almost enough to purchase outright near Automata. Near Automat. I'm going to say Automat. So it's like you're near an Automat. An Automata's thing that used to give you sandwiches back in the day. You put in a nickel. I saw them in movies. There's one in the city. It's like all high tech, whatever. Um, no, dude, I think I could get it for like five bucks. I got to see if uh, how many how many points we can get by like tomorrow and get another gift card. Yeah. Okay. So I'm excited about that. We're probably going to try to get that. Um, it, it'll probably cost us like seven bucks. So I'm excited about that. Yes. Seven dollars. 4K resolution on a 720p TV. Awesome. Anyway. So am I. The Wolf Canis. I didn't. I didn't even get to like play that. I, I'm assuming we're talking about near. I didn't get to play that when it came out, but I wanted to. Thanks for the follow. So I'm excited. Yeah. Is it better to live in a city or in rural suburbs? I wonder. Um. Depends on your personality. The thicker skin you have, the better off you are in um, a city because there's more to do. But if you're in one of the outer suburbs of New York. At least you don't have to deal with too much of the nonsense and noise, but you can still commute. So basically, yeah, it's based on your personality. Can you handle a lot of noise and idiocy? If not, then rural life is for you. Mm. I don't know. But when you're ingrained in it, when you kind of grow up in it, everything's white noise. So it don't matter. Like somebody could be like exploding on a, uh, across the street and you're just like, hey, whatever. You know, you just, you just go to the pretzel vendor, get your pretzel and uh, whatever. Oh, wait, wait. I think everyone gets to use the lag emotes. Hold on. Hold on. Watch. Now that we've got emotes, we'll never have another lag spike again. No, there it is. Get the emotes ready. We have a lag spike. No? Wow, it's not even doing it. You s How do you feel about YouTube implementing subscriptions like Twitch? <laughs> oh, well... Is it? Oh, it's bouncing back and forth. Yay! Use use of the lag. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to talk through this, but we'll see. Give it a second. <laughs> the lag spike. What time is it? We know we've been on for 43 minutes. Usually it's a half hour. Nah, I'll leave it out. Um, yeah, no, 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 no. Um, YouTube is now doing subscriptions. So if you have a, a channel, depending on how many followers you have or subscribers, whatever, um, you will open up a subscription kind of thing. What I think they call it a support thing. It's basically like Twitch. So it's like, you know, $5 a month, you could support whatever channel you want. And uh, that's basically them saying, all right, we realize nobody's making money on ad revenue anymore. So you know what? Let your fans carry the burden. These guys have been doing enough. I'm not going to be like, hey, support me on YouTube too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Rogue Alchemist, you're good for life. Um, <laughs> no, Ash Veratu too. Most of you. Just whatever. Enjoy the show. Um, no, 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 no. So when that kicks in, um, that'll help a lot of people. But apparently you have to have like 100,000 subscribers for that even to be uh, a thing. And lag. All right. We got the point. You got to enjoy your emote. Okay. All right, you're making little 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 Josie angry. Okay, well, enjoy your coffee. Get, hey, that's what we do. Lag, lag and sip. There you go, lag and sip. There's the other emote. New York style pizza over Boston. Here we go. Um, I've had like one slice of pizza in the Massachusetts area. I wasn't really crazy about it, but um, I, dude, I, I kid you not, I have had superb pizza in Connecticut. You do not think of Connecticut as like, oh, it's a pizza place. You know, you want good pizza, you go to... Con no, nobody says that. But there are literally authentic Italian places. And I say this, when I say authentic Italian, I mean 
Italians that cannot speak English who have shipped a stone brick oven over from Italy. Yes. That is as authentic as you're going to get. Lag spike. We get the point. All right. It's lag and sip time. Lag and sip. Get those emotes and have a sip of coffee. All right. I think we're in the green. I will move slowly as to not anger the lag gods. Hmm. That's the good thing about doing highlights. You can just knock out that minute of, hold on, guys. We got a lag spike. <laughs> oh, God. You know, and here's the thing. We have checked, like, our local area. Again, I've said this before. For the Literally, we have the fastest. Unless I start paying, like, five grand a month for uh, business. Oh, this is it. We're done. What's that up? That guy, you're fired. What happened to him, anyway? And I see we've lost a squirrel, too. Okay, we are apparently lagging, but this morning. Yes, we are. Oh, what? Shh. You think you have lag. Jesus took three days to respawn. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I like that. There is that. nothing wrong with insanity when I'm you see what normal is. Writing that down. Ten months. The only time I watch the stream on the laptop. <laughs> Thank you. And? This is true. I'm from the Bronx, but also lived in CT for a while and did have had some great Italian food there. California is good for burgers. Really? Cali burgers, huh? Curse you lag, this was supposed to be easy Sunday. I throw shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. Shame! What is happening? Hey, I've been planning for my YouTube channel. Hopefully I will post my first video in either October or November. Best of luck, oh my god. Best pizza, our pizza and touched by human hands and Delver Gods approved. Arkham pizza? I'm not eating anything from Arkham. I don't know what's in it. In my fry voice to Twitch. Breathes and fix it, fix it, fix it. We're good. Maybe that's what was good. Was that a backlog or is that like recent? I don't even know. I think we're all right. I think we're right. We're 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 adequate right now. Famous last words. Ah. Snark. Cali is good for donuts. I wanted to go to Voodoo Donuts, and there's a, a place in Connecticut called uh, what, what? I think it was called like Brooklyn Donuts or something like that. I know, right? In Connecticut. Come on. Um, they and believe me, this was recommended to us by our dentist. Like, our, if, if your dentist says, go eat this sugary item, it is so good, it has to be good. And we got to find this place. Because he's like, he's like, I don't care. I don't, just go eat it. And I'm like, are you, sh should you really be recommending donuts to me? And he's like, yes, yes, I should. I don't care what cavities it causes because they are that good. <laughs> I like, yeah, thanks, Doc. You're, you're real help. Ugh. Voodoo Donuts near me. I need to visit. Yeah, dude, no. If you got one near you, go. I hear they're really, really good. But I'm not. I've never tried them, so I don't. I don't know. I would like to. Still going through that candy that was sent to us. Those, dude. We had we had two. We had two of the things. We had the Smarties and the Mr. Big Bar, which I didn't think you could uh, have a vanilla wafer covered in chocolate and be so good. We just got a Voodoo Donuts in Orlando. Oh! The line has been 30 minutes long uh. since it opened because it's at Universal. Oh, uh, well, yeah. That's it. I'm going to go to a donut shop at a, an amusement park. Oh, my God. Each donut's probably like $15. I wonder if they got, like, uh, Universal Monsters donuts, like one shaped like Frankenstein. I wouldn't want to eat it. I'd want to frame it. Got new glasses. Getting yes. used to them is going to take some time as the edges make things look curved. Mostly used to them now. But I still am getting a little bit dizzy on occasion. Is that because of astigmatism? Because Dawn had to get that. Or are those progressives? Because progressives are weird. They make the uh, the side of your vision like really blurry for some reason. But you can see near, close, far, and all that fun stuff. They say it takes time to get used to, but you got to kind of like point your nose where you want to look. It's kind of weird. Because then you look like a, kind of an irate bird where you're like... 
kind of uh, strange. I don't know. But they also have, uh, wh- what are the ones called? They have a wider field of vision. Duralux, Furliflux, Herfliflux, I don't know. I know, you just got the one pair of glasses, right? Yeah, so, hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Cameron Cargill, you're welcome. Corgi loves you all in the Canadian candy. Dude, it is. They're really good. They're really good. No, the candy's good. To, uh, what was it? The, the Smarties? Those are basically like exquisite M&Ms. Job security for your dentist the more you eat. I know, right? Dude's probably like, yeah, yo, 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 go have some donuts. And we're like, Doc. <clears throat> No, usually he's really good. He's like for dentist, he's like phenomenal. And there you go. Especially putting up with Dawn. <laughs> oh um, uh, holy crap, Voodoo Donuts uh, have a Voodoo doll shaped donut. They have a Voodoo doll. Dude, why do we not live in one of those? Pauline, take me to a Voodoo Donut. Stop picking your nails. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Ignored. Mr. Ronnie's Donuts in Hilma, Louisiana has the best I've ever had. Always tried to have some in the car when I was a police patrolman. <laughs> Donuts aren't the same now that I'm a full-time firefighter. What? Hi, guys. Pank. Pauline and Pank. IT Burns. I, I, I guess... I guess that works. All right, guys. I got to head out and take care of some stuff. Boo. Love you and good vibes to all. Hey. Be safe until we gather again. And don't forget, Twitch Prime Rules. XD. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Take care, PG, Pauline, and Chat. I have to get to work now. We'll Boo. see you Wednesday. Boo. Good vibes to all. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, no, I'll try to enjoy work. Work is terrible, though. Um. Mm. Let's see. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? I, I, elephants can scream really loud. Not as loud as that fox that was outside yesterday, dude. There was, there was some screaming fox just roaming the streets, going ah. You know, like when I yell Gordon, it was kind of like that. It's crazy. I'm also taking online classes for editing animation. Art as a refresher and in business from Skillshare website. Ooh, there you go. Maybe we should do that. Take an online animation class so you can make good animation. Yeah, she's not happy with it. Was that old joke? She's not bad. She's just drawn that way. I have to say this. California voodoo donuts aren't real voodoo donuts. The real voodoo is in Eugene, Oregon. They have more edgy and awesome donuts. Really? I didn't even know there was one in Cali. Yeah, there was one in particular that I'm thinking of, and I think that was like the original one that was featured on some kind of food channel. So I was like, meh. So, I don't know. Hmm. Also tried a new food called Dragon Tail. It's mac and cheese with bacon deep fried. Was pretty good, but needed some salt. So it's macaroni and cheese with bacon and needed some salt. Oh, dude, BT dubs as an idea for your Amazon slots. Can we have zip hoodie versions of all the shirts, but with the artwork on the back? We could do that. Um, I don't know if they actually have zipper hoodies. I don't think they have, they have pullover hoodies, but they don't have zipper hoodies. So that's uh, a little annoying for me, frankly, because I love zipper hoodies. I don't I don't like the pullover because it messes up my stem. You know, you better not be laughing back there. Um, no, no, no. So I'll, I'll, I will check into that. And if we could do that, that's fine. I'll take up another slot with a, a redundant graphic. There's a hundred slots we got to fill. And what? we got to look at the comment section on uh, Facebook. Cause we asked everybody like, you know, Oh, if there's a particular shirt you want, somebody wanted the, uh, stab you and I with a really hot French fry thing. So we're going to try to get that one back up there. It may not pass review. It may be considered too violent. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, everything has to adhere to a review now, you know? Well, we don't think this is suitable content. Well, it is for people who want to stab somebody in the eye with a really hot French fry, right? Yes. God. Oh, God. Don't discriminate. Let's see. D- 
Dude, you should hear an Australian raven. They are loud and sound like a dying baby. Oh, yeah, that's what I need. That's what I need. I can't stand kids screaming across the street when they're having fun, let alone when they're being murdered. Ah, sometimes they both sound the same, though, so you don't know. You always got to check outside and be like, oh, no, they're just jumping up and down. They aren't being run over by a car. Uh, speaking of food, are pumpkin patches like orphanages for you? No, that's like a free-range uh, home for everybody. You know, that's our, 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 our Elysian fields until we're snatched up by the uh, claws of the evil human beings who insist on cooking us and carving us up. <sighs> Thanks for bringing back traumatic memories. That's good. It's not even October yet. I'm starting to have PTSD from pumpkin patches. See all my people just carved up, cut up, sitting, sitting on steps, lifeless and dull, all their innards taken out and put into pies. It's ridiculous. Um, where did I leave off? Hmm. There are many shirts I want. Many! Many shirts. Uh, pumpkin guy, early in the stream, you got 20 cents for being stupid. If stupidity was converted to money, you would be worth millions. I really wish it was, because my dumbness could bank, you know? That would be great. The original Voodoo Donuts is in Portland, Oregon. They also give away free donuts bits to the homeless if they ask from the back. Also, you can get married there. All right, I'm not getting married at a donut shop. <laughs> Dude Skillshare also have cooking classes. Really? Wow. I can make With toast. With all this talk about food, who wants to take me to that place from diners, drive-ins and dives that was in Detroit that had that killer mac and cheese that Kid Rock was inhaling? It would be really difficult for me to want to go to a diner in Detroit. You know, unless unless I am wearing full body armor, I, I just don't think I want to eat there. Oh, good luck. Be careful. Um, instead of the purge, we should have the splurge. The splurge! Uh, I think that's called Christmas. Isn't that Christmas? Oh, is that, oh my God, you know what the splurge was for us? No, we did two things, and and um, re remind me, remind me again about food when I when I uh, go over uh, Ro Rogue Alchemist's gift gifty goodies. Okay, remind me about food. It's important because their helped helped out other people. You'll see. Um, but uh, no, no, splurge steam summer sale. Did anybody find anything good? We got an art program. We got a cool art program. What 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 is it? There's uh, it's like I remember, remember desktop mates, the little foamy ones that uh, you made a while back, for like ten years ago. There's an actual program on Steam that actually, it, you know, that the kind of thing, only a little bit better. Since we're on about food, I had a goat curry this week. It tastes like lamb, but has a stronger taste. Hmm. I don't think I like lamb. Have I had lamb? Is it like chicken? You bits give me power. No? Okay. Bad thing is I live 15 minutes from Detroit, Lul. Ooh. Scary. No, that's scary. If, even as a New Yorker, I am like, Detroit? Hell no. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Good luck. Be safe. Um, do you think a civil war will emerge in Detroit? Um, no, I'm waiting for them to build RoboCops, frankly. Would you yep. like some nuts? It's like, ha, I made a joke at your mental expense. Seven moons! <laughs> Jumpogo, what's up? How's it going? No, man, um, thank you, thank you. No, man, D Detroit needs RoboCops. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. I gotta see that again. Not the remake. No, 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 no. I want to see the original one with Peter Yell uh, Weller getting shot up. That was gruesome. Like, and I know it was all special effects, but that was really gruesome. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, the poor guy. No. I'd buy it for a dollar. Um, let's see. That's a gun. Hi from Texas. Texas, what's up? Willow Forest. Tall. Tail? Tall. I can't read the dyslexia. Willow Forest. Forest tall. Forest tall. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, my words. Never mind. Hi from wherever I am. Uh, lamb is so good. Is it? I don't think I've had lamb. I don't think so. Did your grandfather ever make lamb? I know your I know your mother wouldn't make lamb because she'd be like, "Hell no." Um, 
No, it's just basically meatball chicken. Yeah, so I don't think we've ever had lamb. I'm sorry. We've had steak a couple of times, but yeah. It occurred to me that where stupidity turned into cash, not only would the wealth in the world be reversed, the world would probably be destroyed by nukes. Could still I be. I got my favorite treat there as well, flavored honey sticks. I wish stores sold them. Huh. Flavored honey sticks. I don't think I've had those either. Detroit, or how they want to pretend they're better than New York. Um, if you want to be the best at crime, then you are the best. <laughs> Who wants that? No, New York used to have that on their sleeve, and they'd be like, yeah, it's so dangerous, blah, blah, blah. Now it's like a, a candy land of, uh, you know, just hipster shops and whatever. And it's, it's actually kind of a little bit too chill for me, you know, because we kind of grew up there in a time when it was uh, very kind of dangerous just to wander around looking for record stores in the middle of the night. You know, record stores literally used to be open to 3 in the morning. Don't ask me why, but, hey, if you wanted a CD at 3 in the morning, you're golden. I really wish beef jerky was cheaper. We did we did make a uh, homemade beef jerky once and it came out really good. Cuz you got a dehydrator uh what is it like 3 years ago? It was like an Amazon deal of the day. It was like dehydrator 20 bucks and we we're like, "Nah, get out of here." And then we were making fruit and beef jerky and all sorts of stuff in there. It was great. And then we stopped. You ever do that? You get an appliance and you're like, oh, I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this. And for like three days, you you make yourself so much food and you're just like, all right, I'm done. We did that with a bread maker too. And I think that's when you gained like 50 pounds because you're like, I can make a pesto bread. We literally made a pesto bread. It was so good. We had to stop making it. Oh, God. Gyros. I love gyros. So I have had lamb, right? Gyros got lamb in it. Oh no, then uh, give me give me lambs. Give me lambs. I would I would love to be a shepherd now just because I could be ha I could have a flock of gyros behind me. Oh, that'd be so good. Mmm. A gyro shepherd. Ah. <sighs> no. Can you make any money being a shepherd? No, not from Mass Effect, you idiot. Thanks for the follow. Um Anyway, lamb chops is great when made properly. Lamb chops. Have we ever had lamb chops? I've had pork chops. I don't know, but no, gyro, man. There you go. Toasted sandwich markers. <laughs> Candy land of trust fund babies. Yeah, a little New York. Uh, New York is a little uh, trust fundy right now. Um, but hey, I mean, I guess rich people got to spend their money somewhere. There's a subscribe button up there. Just if. If you ever go to Missouri, try a restaurant called Lambert's. Has great food, and if you leave there hungry, it's your fault. They hand out sides all the time and toss rolls at you. My brother ordered a salad there, and it was as big as his head. Whoa. Last week, I made a discovery that Dollar General stores have Jolt Cola. Yes, they do. We've been to a dollar store, and we're like, dude, Jolt Cola? I didn't even know that still existed. Uh, we didn't buy it because we haven't had soda in like, what, almost five years now, right? Something like that? Something ridiculous? Maybe three, four? Whatever. But um, yeah, it was nice to reminisce of soda. <laughs> ah, Lag is making, what? Is making a remix of That Be So Good. Okay. Mm. I wish I could eat thick steak, but my teeth won't allow it. Yeah, steak is a little... Well, depending on how it's made, I haven't had a, I've never had a super, 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 super good steak. I've had decent steak, but not like, you know, where people think it's the greatest thing on the planet kind of steak. Mm. Shawarma, shawarma. When I lived in uh, upstate New York, I used to make venison jerky. Ooh, venison. That, that. I would think so. You'd have, uh, you'd have meat, wool and milk to sell would probably make at least a bit of money. Oh, no, as a shepherd. No, dude, if the art thing doesn't work out, just be a shepherd. Find some sheep and just walk around town and be like, dude, anybody need a coat? We got a shep we got sheep right here. No? Well, how does it work? I don't know how what the The average sheep herder salary in the United States is twenty five thousand nine hundred eighty six dollars or an equivalent hourly rate of twelve dollars. In addition, they earn an average bonus of two hundred ninety one dollars. 
salary estimates based on salary survey data collected directly from employers and anonymous employees in United States. A rubber room of your very own. Enjoy! Brothers in arms, thank you. <laughs> One move. Thank you. Um, I know I'm just in shock that um, literally shepherds make more than we do from YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, that's, that's very disheartening. <laughs> Yo, dude, shepherds make more than <laughs> Ah, YouTube. Yeah. This isn't even pay for a shepherd. <laughs> Oh my god, I wonder what other weird jobs, like, uh, do Pied Pipers make more money than a YouTuber? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, anyway, where, where's, where did I leave off? You need good, you need good steak. It's got, uh, all those umami, umami flavors without needing marinade or A1. Yeah, that's the thing. Every steak that we've ever had, it's always like, oh, put some sauce on it. I'm like, well, if, if it's that good, like a burger, if a burger's really good, you don't need to put stuff on top of it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, very rarely do you find one of those. Mm. Chibada, what? Thank you. You haven't had a good steak because the a good steak, the meat itself for a decent cut is like 20 plus a pound. Oh, well, that, that explains it. Yeah, no, we're like uh, $2 a pound kind of people, you know? It, I don't know what kind of, I don't even know if they could quant quantify a steak. And you know, it's like, how much is a steak? Well, it's like $20 a pound. Well, do you have anything in the $2 a pound range? It's like, yeah, compressed grizzle. Enjoy that. What about that one sheep that had butted its shepherd? LML. Oh, yeah. Hazard pay, though. Hazard pay. You know? No, we don't get hazard pay. No, we just sit around, get carpal tunnel, and uh, you know who pays for that? Us. Pied Pipers tend to get ostracized. The clothing defines a job, and, well, people don't quite like that kind of harsh contrast in patchwork. I don't care. I'm fine with being an outsider. I mean, look at me. Throw a couple of patches on me. Give me a flute, and I, I will lead people into the ocean. Come on, kids. We're going to go swimming. Do, 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 Welcome, do. you insane individual. Look at those stars, man. Dude. Solitary player. Five moons. Thank you. Hey, PG, I have been forgetting to ask this. But in one of your VODs, when Dawn was worried about the hurricane, you said her family was in Venice, Florida, or was it Venice, Florida, because I lived in both of those towns for a few years. No, it was neither. Um, where was it? Arcadia. I know, it, it, they don't even have an arcade in Arcadia. That doesn't even make any sense to me. But um, that's when they had a hurricane coming through, or tornado, or whatever it was. That was like a couple of years ago, though. That was a couple of years ago, right? A year ago? Maybe last year? I don't remember. Last hurricane we worried about was the one we almost got a hit by. Well, no, it's a tornado. That wasn't even a hurricane. Yeah, but we lived. They lived. Everybody's okay. Thank you for your concern. Mm. Mm. Da -da. Come on, Timmy. We're going to the ocean with all the unicorns. Yay! <laughs> oh, man. Arcadia okay, used to have an arcade in the 1990s. It got taken out by a hurricane. Oh. Pumpkin, what if I dressed as you for Halloween? I'm seriously thinking about it. Dude, go for it. Wait, hey, you don't got to worry about like, oh, copyright infringement. Oh, did anybody uh, print out the little paper Pauline we posted on Facebook? We didn't get a chance to do that because we ran out of black ink. <laughs> Dude, you should have that in your veins at this point. <sighs> so we don't know if it came out good. So, yeah. If you haven't seen it, it's on Patreon, it's on YouTube in the community section, and it's also on uh, Facebook. So, yeah, just follow the links, download it, print it. Um, no, I was really, that was really terrible, because we were like, oh, cool, we're going to print it out, and we can do a picture, send it on Instagram. And it's like, oh, of course, the one time you got to do it, your printer's like, oh, you are out of black ink. And I'm like, no, that's the only color I use. How could you be out of it? Because it's the only color we use. Ah. Uh, I don't you hate when you refill the black ink cartridge and all of a sudden you need cyan. You also have to consider the cost of keeping the sheep healthy and clean, medicine for when they get sick and grooming, etc. That seems more relaxing than anything else, frankly. You know, just sit there, just be, you know, petting a sheep, you know? What? You, you brush your cat all the time and it's like, it's kind of relaxing. It's like, all right, well, at least I'm not fighting with YouTube. <laughs> nice kitty. 
you know, and a cat enjoys it, and everyone just kind of sits and just hangs out and purrs. You know, that's the life. Ten dollars. Oh. What joys this shall bring to the yeah. fiscally irresponsible. Stars. Thank you. Yeah. Five months of coffee and bagels. Here's to more to come. Yes. I love foamy. Thank you. Oh, not me though. All Freaking right. internet. AT&T recently merged with the company I work for, but I still won't take Uverse because they don't offer 100 MPS in my area. Plus, I heard it sucks. Really? Lame. <sighs> Internet be faster, and thank you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Neil Raven, what's up? How's it going? Eh. Uh. Did you ever look into making stickers? Yeah, the stickers on uh, Designed by Humans. Designed by Humans got all the stickish. Stickish. Arcadia, really that not too far from my hometown of Lake Placid. Lake Plastered. That's where everybody gets drunk. Oh, Placid. Oh. Okay. I've been hearing that wrong this whole time. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the follow. Yeah. Uh, 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 he's like, of course I love pumpkin guy. All right, all right, take your word for it. Uh, mm, 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 mm. There you go, Spooker Reveal posting the sticker links. Stickish, stickers. You know, that was the most fun part of, about um, what was it? Uh, Plants vs Zombies, the video game. Because I was like, dude, look at all the stickers I get. I don't know what it is. It's the kid in me loves stickers. You know, and I'm just like, hey, kill the stickers. I love sticking them on stuff, you know? It's just so cool. He's got a little piece of artwork you just stick on things. You know, laptops, guitars. Dude, that guitar you have that is just covered with stickers, it is just crazy. Half those stickers are, like, vintage now. It's ridiculous, but it looks great. It's so punky looking. Hmm. Internet, be faster. Now nah, you're asking for too much. Yeah, well, you know what? If I lived in a different country, you know, I'd be getting, like, gig speeds, not this whatever this is. What is this even? Oh, oh, we got two up right now. Oh, <laughs> wee That's why it takes forever for uh, highlights to get uploaded. My God, we got to compress the hell out of it, too. Uh. Maddox! Hello, how's it going? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You really hope you get this job? I can't go back to retail. Yeah, dude, when, after you leave retail, you never want to go back. Especially in the climate of the working individual now. It is a very harsh and volatile environment that the companies have set up for the lowly workers. I feel like we're in a weird totalitarian country somehow. I, I, I don't know what happened. Whatever, I don't want to get started on retail again. But I will get some coffee. Wait. I gotta put this. Damn it. I can put this here. Hold on. And also to make sure they have good shelters, enough room to graze, share their wool in spring before it gets too hot for them. Yeah, that's work. That's work. Just let them play in the uh, public swimming pool. You know, just, hey, sheep, let's go to the pool. Yeah. You know, and I could graze on people's lawns. If anything, I'm doing landscaping for them. And it's natural. It's natural lawnscaping. You see, you're Welcome helping back animals. To crazy individual. What? Sorwin! Shin Shinkan. Sorwin Shinkan. I think I said that right. I hope I said that right. Thank you! <laughs> oh my god, I am ridiculous today. That's it. Where's the mallet? I'm eating these sheep. No, dude, why don't you why don't people do that? And be like, look, you're gonna have um sheep just you know, landscape everybody's lawn, technically. And it'll be natural. There's no emissions from the lawnmower. The sheep are happy, and you're helping the environment by securing the future of gyros. <laughs> yes. Also biodegradable. Hmm. I'm, I'm just saying gyro lives matter. I love gyros, actually. I really want one now. Where the hell can I get a gyro? I think every place locally sucks. So, um... I'm going to have to find a, a really good gyro place somewhere. Oh, no, the actual Greek place. But that's, oh, God, that's like 28 minutes away. <sighs> that was right. All right, I got it right. Awesome. I'm probably going to say it wrong now. <laughs> Retail is another large layer of Dante's Hill. Imagine dealing with customers in a long line. No additional cashier in sight. Don't you hate that? 
yeah, can I get another cashier for a checkout here? Yeah, I mean, like yeah, nobody shows up for like 25 minutes, and then everybody on the line gets progressively angry because they show up at the last minute to get a fridge. I just saw an ad for the first so-called punk coffee shop in Venice Beach. I shall challenge these claims. Organic green free range gluten free landscaping. Yes. And here's the thing. Um to call yourself punk at this point, especially a punk coffee shop. Um if I can't go in there and kick over a bag of beans with my Doc Martens and then just smash a coffee cup on my own head, it's not going to be a punk coffee shop, all right? I prefer raising goats, chickens, and pigs myself. There you go. Thank you. Seriously, just because you got a picture of Joey Ramone on your wall or the Sex Pistols, that doesn't make a place punk. It's like the Hard Rock Cafe, which is like anything but, in my opinion. Oh, we got pictures of Eric Clapton on the wall. What? What? And Aerosmith. What? It's a Hard Rock Cafe. Welcome. No, like if I go into a punk coffee place, I want to hear, Oi, what you do? Get out of my store! You know, and they like throw throw a coffee cup at it, at you filled with scolding hot coffee. Saying, That's punk. They're very agitated people. You know? No, but it's going to be a watered-down, commercialized version, and I am sad about it. <sighs> Who wants to invest with me in making a, a really cool goth cafe? Because you know what? You can go into a goth cafe and just chill. You know, you could chill, you could be dark, it'll be dimly lit. All you need is coffee and the ability to smoke somewhere on the property of whatever you feel like smoking. Smoking's bad for you. Um, you know, I just have some fog machines out and a lot of candles. I mean, my God, just that, that would be cool because you, you can make a goth cafe, but a punk cafe doesn't work. Oh, oi, it's a punk cafe. Would you like a large latte, oi? N- no. No, but you could do that in a, a goth place where you're just like, here's your coffee. It is as dark as your soul and mine as well. I will share my poetry with you later if I feel like it. You know, that kind of thing. You know, just like the coffee as dark as your soul. You know, a lot, a lot of fun, like bat-shaped cookies or something. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Invest with me. Come on. We'll call it a doom and gloom cafe. Done. I would invest in that. Come on, we got to get a Kickstarter going. Good. Uh, just checked out the stickers. Awesome. I'll be buying a few. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Oh, man. Imagine motor- motorcycle gang themed restaurant chain. Yeah, right. The Hell's Angel Cafe. Oh, God. There. I am now invested in the goth cafe idea. All right. Both financially and emotionally. <laughs> How much to invest? I have no idea. I'll where location, location. That's what we gotta do. Dark chocolate shaped skulls. There you go, man. You know you could sell all sorts of hair hair dye. Think of Hot Topic when it was cool, but with a lot of coffee in it and cakes and cool chocolates that are handcrafted by the darkest of souls. All the chef hats are black. Yeah, all the aprons are black. You know, none of those paisley goth thing. We're not doing that. I don't care how good you look in it. Um, black. Oh, we. how about we just call it the blacker than black coffee shop? That doesn't have overtones of... No, just... P- please. All right, then Can doom and gloom it is. themed cafe? No, because then we're getting a little too Disney. All right, we want dark. Think mid-80s, early 90s, up until about 94. Okay, and we're ta- we're talking about that kind of dark. Okay, we're not talking about the happy. Like even even I would say even we will do without say Nightmare Before Christmas stuff as much as I love it. We're just gonna keep away from that stuff. We want we want a safe space for like God to just be dark. I like my coffee black number one. There you go. There you go. That'll be it. Coffee black number one. Brilliant. You're hired. Um, 
that would be great, you know. And then you you could have like soundtracks for it. It'd be just it would be awesome. And here comes the lag. Don't lag my idea, bro. What? Are you threatening my Sanderson sisters? I'm not sure how I feel about this. Right uh, in my feels. <laughs> Thank you. I have my mother here with me watching you and she laughing so much at what you say that you now have a new fan. And hey. I'm going to buy her one of your shirts. Yay! Thank okay, you. Now I need to start a coffee themed punk band called Bean Day. That would be pretty good actually. But wouldn't that be more of like a hippie thing? You know, with the bean bags? I would call it uh Hmm, let me see. See a bean, let's see, kind of punk themed coffee themed punk band. Um hmm. How about the Daily Grind? Yeah, because then it could be like all socio political too. Oh, we are the Daily Grind and you are working for the man, your slave grind. Daily <laughs> Uh, I should have been a songwriter. Anyway, um, mm. I'll be playing The Cure 24 hours a day. Yeah, why not? Lost Boys Cafe. Oh, no, but that's gender specific, you know, because then it's going to put out everybody else. I want an all-inclusive kind of thing, you know, where you could have several bathrooms for every gender on the planet and a place for your uh, dogs that look like service. You know, or Cujo. Oh, God, I keep expecting. Thanks for the follow. I thought there would be words. I'm sorry. I'm distracted by goth cafes. What am I? I have a cafe in my town called Daily Grind. Oh, God. There you go. You can get sponsored by them. Daily Grind. Ah. Oh, well. Wasn't there a place where you used to live that around there? I think it was like Scarsdale, New York. Wasn't it called the Daily Grind or something? Maybe that's why it came to my head. I don't know. I got a joke though, XD. Better get your axe at Pumpkin because you're murdering dreams here. Why am I murdering dreams? I'm creating them. I am creating dreams. Oi. <laughs> Punk cafe. <laughs> I'm sorry, I find that humorous. I really do, because you know it's gonna be like every other little cafe that you go oh, into. It's one, gonna be two, terrible. Panties from you to me. Thank you. Spookerill. Words. The Java looks back. Abyss coffee. Oh. The dumbest thing I saw today was a video of an adrenaline junkie try to go big bite trying to stop a 50 calories bullet with a book held up to his chest and made his GF shoot it. Needless to say he died and didn't realize that kind of round would go through the book in the neighbor's house the... House the thief behind what the fridge and the The local books a million closed recently, taking the Joe mugs with it. It was the only cafe worth going to around here. Ow! Oh. There you go, gotta open up a goth cafe. And really, who's doing that? Who who says shoot Good this? Good thins or wheat thins? Good thins or wheat thins. Nothing with wheat or good in it. Um hold on. No, who does that? Who puts a book up into their chest and say, yeah, shoot it. This is my bulletproof vest. What are you kidding me? Is that real? That's just dumb. That's that's Darwinism right there. Wow. Um uh, Da, 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 da. From one, two, three, the Java looks back. Abyss coffee. Abyss coffee? Abyss coffee. Abyss coffee. Hmm. We could call it the dark grind, right? How about if we're going to make it artsy, we're going to call it dead expressions. There you go. Artsy. Dead expressions cafe. Beautiful. Ah, uh, I want to make a goth-themed sweets now. There you go. Go ahead. Go nuts. That moron that got his girlfriend to shoot him was in northern central Minnesota. They did it to get YouTube views. Uh, I can't even comment on that because people are just... Ah! Now, here we are 
pointing out the irony of punk-themed cafes while trying to create something better with our minds, a goth-themed cafe, where all the napkins are black, no compromises, um, you know, and we can have, like, a little lending library, too, with, like, Edgar Allan Poe, you know, all the dark people. Well, maybe some Oscar Wilde tossed in there, you know, Keats Yates, some artsy things, um, chess boards where both pieces are black, you know, but one's a little lighter than any other. Anyway, uh, coffee corpse. No. Espresso expressions? No. Da, 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 da. My husband just witnessed the savage bird fight. Two robins and one of them hit the other by the neck and they at some point slammed against a wall. Hope the goth cafe has hardcore stuff like that happening outside. No, but we'll have ravens indoors, I think. We'll have a little, uh... Raven Sanctuary on the roof. How about that? Not a, the ravens and, and, or maybe crows. Crows might be easier. They kind of like to hang out in a particular area, so maybe we'll do that. So there we go. Um, crows or ravens, whichever ones are more agreeable with the customers. And uh, yeah, it'll be good. A little atrium. Hmm. How about Moonlight Cafe? No, that's that's been done. Like, isn't there a famous one in New York? That just like recently closed. I'm sure somebody's got that. Um, I know we'll kick around the idea. I would like to actually see just how much it would actually cost to open up a cafe and would it do well? I mean, I know it really depends on the area. I got to find the most goth area in the country. The Grimm's Cafe. Mm, that might that might be taken. Or how about the Grim Grind? That'd be pretty good. The chess pieces on the board can be one side black and the other side gray. There you go. That's what I that's what I want. I want I want just dark, you know? Dark but comforting. You know, like at a uh an abyssal swimming pool where everyone can just kind of float on by in their own emotions, yet not drown in them. Cuz there's always a lifeguard on duty. With coffee. Dinner. Black coffee could be called, what? Called like myself. What? Six feet underground. Um, or how about the last cup? Nah, that's weird. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll mull it out. I'm, I'm like, seriously, I'm going to like look into it. But we will actually have to travel. We will have to travel and find a location that would be really good for this. Because we can't, we can't just like, you know, if you do it locally, it will fail miserably. Just because people are wearing black. They'll be like, oh, it's so dark. Ew. 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 What about New York near Union Square? I know they recently took out the trash and vaudeville, but we can try to reclaim our home in that area. It ain't going to happen. Because nobody, nobody who wants to... Eh, hold on. Dark is calm and soothing. Yes. Like the night. There is no way that, like, say, oh God, uh, like St. Mark's Place area is ever going to be the way it was. Ever. Ever. And why? Because nobody can afford to make it that way. Like, literally, there's no, there's, like, no record stores on there. There's no dark shops. There's a couple of little t-shirt places. And, um, you know, well, I think Search and Destroy is still there, but... <laughs> You know, I, no, but everything else is just a weird little uh, place of I don't want to be, you know, and it's just it ain't going to happen, you know. And if 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 it was a viable thing, places like uh, vaudeville trash would still be there or trash vaudeville, whatever. Um, you know, but clearly, clearly the demographic has changed to just be like, oh, do I really want to wear those kind of punk clothings? No, I don't think so. Let's go to the Gap. No, wait, there's a Banana Republic. Let's go there. And then afterwards, we can go to the punk cafe. Yeah, that, that's New York now. Sorry. It's dead. It's dead. Anyway. Mm. The bean and gone. Bean gone? Mm. Oh, my God. Now we can like... uh. We can also have a juice bar, and we can have, like, beetle juice. That'd be so cool. It'd be, like, uh, green. Like a little radioactive green. There we go. We can start making drinks. Name them after famous things, you know? Like the like the Tim Burton. You know, that'd be great. Comes on a striped glass. One hour, 30 minutes, food reminder, and thank yous. 
Food reminder. One of the uh, one hour thirty two minutes. You're off, man. Um, now I'll be all right. It's good. We still got a half hour. I'm good. We actually have, have a mildly new setup here, so uh, things are working out better than I thought. Kathleen. 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 Oh, that'd be pretty cool. No, now I just want to think of like weird beverages, man. Damn. Um, so we've got the Tim Burton. We can have the uh. Hmm, something that we won't get sued for. How about the Dark Christmas? It'll be like a little peppermint drink that comes with a, a black and white candy cane. And we only serve it in December, you know? And then we can also have another one called the Thanks Killing, you know? That would also be good. It would be like, uh, I don't know what it would be, but it's a cool name. And we, we serve that in November. The Thanks Killing. Give me a Thanks Killing. Ah, <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. I want to work there. Stygian brew, extra dark roast. Beetlejuice drinks completely with with candy cockroaches. That'd be pretty good, right? Little chocolate uh, things on top of the foam. Little little chocolate beetles on top of the foam. That would be great. Oh my god, that's a good idea. Hmm. Goth roast. There you go. The dark is my soul roast. That kind of thing. Hmm. That would be really good. Maybe we could get the guy from uh, Mindless Self Indulgence to uh, kind of invest with us. And what about that? Uh, the guy who did uh, oh, flipping murdery comic, Invader Zim. Um, I was thinking about that. Oh, Johnny the Homosonomaniac. Maniac. We'll, we'll get. We'll ask him. We'll be like, dude, you got some money, right? He'll be swimming in that uh, Invader Zim profits, you know. And I'll just be the one with the ideas. And Roman Dirge, dude, that'd be like a super group of goth. I'd still be the odd one out. I'd be like Ringo to their Beatles. I'd be like, ugh. Be like, I can play the drums. Look at me. <laughs> oh, life. Mm. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. In the cafe, have poultry and horror movie TV show night. Yeah, exactly. Have old, old horror movies on in the background, you know? Like Bride of Frankenstein, all those kind of good gory gothic things from back in the day when goth mattered. You know, that kind of thing. Oh, French fry. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that, well, get out of here. Hold on. I got a notification over here. That's not important. I have to go now. No. Got some reading to do and want to work a special project. I hope one day will make me rich. See you Wednesday, pumpkin guy. Good vibes to all. Good luck. I want you to be rich. Really? I'm Careful. Sincere. If you make it too obscure, you'll attract the hipster crowd. Yeah, but then we can kick him out. And we'll be like, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, we see that you're a hipster. Um, there are no bats in your beard either. So uh, why don't you pack up your little vinyl player and, uh, you know, you your beard cream power. and Just get out of here. Just bought the shirt that Mama Linda wanted. Hey, there you go. Thank you, Mama Linda. <laughs> Mama Linda, thank you. Thank you for supporting. I hope I hope you enjoy the shirt. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so are spice pumpkin lattes out of the question. Um, how about we call it the spiciest pumpkin latte? Where you know what? If you want to kill a little pumpkin, you're gonna pay for it in burning hot, like nine hundred million degree skull level kind of pain. You know, where we just put those really really hot chocolates on top of it. You know. No, I saw Soda Poppin eat one the other day, and he was in tears and vomiting. Poor guy. Don't do stuff like that. Um, mm. Dark Neither Roast. Dark Neither Roast with my big old head on it. That'd be great. You know? That'd be awesome. And Pauline needs a drink, too. That needs to be blue. What kind of blue drink that we can make? Um, how about the... Hold on. I have a Halloween cookbook from the 90s if you want some food ideas for the cafe. There you go. So you can do that too. What? Yeah. The name of the creator you're thinking is John Vasquez. Vasquez. Thank you. I know why that name escapes me for some reason. Everybody here else knows who he is, and I'm just like, Dah. I remembered Roman Dirge. That's because I got a giant Lenore sitting like right over there. We found a Lenore statue at a comic shop, and it was really cheap because it was, like, a little banged up, but the statue itself is pristine. 
just the box was kind of banged up and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, I'll take that for $10. Thank you, sir. Yes. Anyway, um, mm. scorpion pepper chocolate. Yeah, that was it. I forgot which one the uh, soda popping had, but I felt really bad for him and I was actually worried about him. You know, he was hurting. He was hurting. It wasn't, it wasn't cool. Uh. Dun, dun, dun. Zombie pumpkin latte. Zombie pumpkin. No, how about uh, zombie latte? It could have like green foam on it with uh, marshmallows that look like teeth on the top of it. That'd be pretty good. I like that. I like the way my brain works today. I like the way my brain is working today. Yes. You know, we, we were all down about not being able to play music and stuff, but uh, uh, nah, nah, nah. Goth Cafe. Come on, we can get her to be a, uh, how about a virtual host? Or she just points at where you're supposed to sit. You know? That'd be cool. Hmm. And if you want to keep it simple, we could just call it Pauline's Place. You know? There you go. I know people aren't going to want, you know, Pumpkin Guy Place. What is that? That doesn't make anything. Pauline's Place sounds like nice and inviting. I got to paint the black, uh, uh, the whole outside black, though, including the window, so you don't even know what's going on inside. The Abyssal Roast. Cold brew and dark as the abyss. Perfect to match your soul. The coldest brew. That's what you call it. How about the Red Widow Shot Gothic Cocktail for Pauline? Red Widow Shot Gothic. No, she's not red. I don't know. Maybe I'm color. No, no, she's blue. Um, I don't know. We gotta think. We still got to work on the lore here before we can go to the backstory. That's almost done, by the way. Hmm. Let's see. We'll figure it out. What about Lost Souls drink? Yeah, and you know, you can have a little game room, too, where the only thing available is dark games, like Dark Souls, American McGee games, and just everything weird and creepy, you know? And even if for people who want, like, shooters or whatnot, you play The Killing Floor um, and something else with weird, creepy stuff in there. You know, that'd be great. That'd be great. Man, I got ideas. I want an 80-inch... 4K television people can play games on. I want all the consoles hooked up with all the cool games in there, like Castlevania. Two bits give me power. If you want to serve soup at the cafe, there is Witch's Brew and Bleeding Gums Combo. Uh, I don't think I want it. You know, even goths would be like, ah, Bleeding Gums, do I really want that? Because uh, that, that incites dental work. Um, That's gingivitis. No. Um, I don't know, soup. I don't, I don't know if we'd be soup people. We'd have to have meatballs shaped like eyeballs, you know, or make them look like it. We could put little olives in the center, you know, and they could look like little little mutated eyeballs. That'd be like a little pasta thing. No? Whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out. Eh. You could use fear as a shooter scary game. Yes, fear! Oh my god, I forgot about that game. Can we also play dark board games in that room? Like Whitechapel and Betrayal at the House on Haunted Hill. You can play whatever you want. We'll get all the, the dark board games you could think of. And you know what? We'll have separate little areas where if you need a server to come by, it'll be a little electronic button you can play. But it's of course, it's shaped in a skull, so you got to press the skull. Like, I need a body here. You know, that kind of thing. Um, and it'll it'll make a cool little sound like... That kind of thing, and you got to kind of walk up. You know what place was really good at doing that? There was a, a restaurant called Jekyll and Hyde, which I think is still around, but that Don't had a good atmosphere. The chilled monkey brains. No chilled monkey brain. Come on. We got to find, like, uh, you know, good, good, blah, blah, blah. Thank you, though. Um, I want, I want, I want, I want to, like, go through all the movies and, and like, horror kind of. Oh, we can have performances. We can invite Voltaire. I haven't seen that animation in a while. Weird. Take an animation class. Thanks for the follow. Um, no, no, no. That would be cool. We can get like Voltaire and like all sorts of goth bands. We can, uh, you know, get El Andrew Eldritch out of his coffin and just have him make an appearance to just complain about the music industry and not make more music. <sighs> God, I'm still waiting on that album. Um, you know, dude, there's just so many bands that would probably like to play there. You know, we could have like just goth records in there. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, I would call that place home. I really would. Uh, wonder if we can, like, retrofit our, 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 our place to do that, you know? Like an apartment-sized cafe. God. And even a bathroom should have black water in them. 
So you don't see what's in there normally. Anyway. Um, hmm. Left for Dead. Yeah, Left for Dead, all sorts of zombie games, but it's got to be like, you know, dark. It's all big dark. Vampire. People can play Vampire. It'd be so cool. Hmm. Frankenstein Monsters as the bouncers for the cafe. Plus for blue drinks, Bayonetta brand juices or wines. Ooh. Glowing red and blue with foggy ice. And baked apples with a free death note to go with it. There we go. I like those. Thanks for the follow. And hello, Australia, Foxy, Foxy Kiss Demon. What's up? How's it going? Dude, this is cool. I could stay here all day and just talk about this. Oh my God. What? You can have coffins for seats and the game carnival. Oh, no, no, no. That would be the nap room. If you're really tired, you can just take a nap in, a, in the coffin room. We call it the... We uh, will determine that we have made it when mindless self-indulgence plays there. There you go. You did a you did a, a cartoon for him, for the left rights. You didn't even charge him. He wanted to give you money, and you're like, no, you're an artist, and you do really good music, and keep making music. Jimmy, make more music, please. God, <sighs> have you heard what's on Spotify these days? I'm dying over here. Jimmy, come on. <sighs> All right. I think he lives in, like, New Zealand or something now. He's, like, living a good life. He's like, yeah, I'm in New Zealand. Later, chumps. <laughs> like, man. Uh, anyway. Morgan and Lil, Lil Cafe Maids. I think we could do that, but we have to keep it classy. And we got to have something for the ladies, too. Like, uh, not maids. What are the butlers? Cafe butlers? You know? Dude, that'd be cool, too. You have cosplay contests. And all that other stuff, but they have to be dark characters. It'll be a dark themed, like I'm trying to think a contest with a Dolls lot of black in lamp it. Shades. Doll head lampshades. I know. And we could hire all sorts of Etsy artists to create like the interior uh, knickknacks. Oh my god! Like really dark mirrors or something. Oh man. That would be cool because it would truly be a community thing where it's like, you know, you find a really good carpenter who's into dark stuff that can make like all the tables. You know, you get some Etsy person to make like fabric. Found something called werewolf in the Waldorf salad. It's basically a Waldorf salad shaped like a werewolf head. Yeah, salad. I don't know. I don't know. Salad. I got a salad. Salad, salad. Well, it's a cafe. It's a cafe. Let's focus on the little things like baked goods and uh, a couple of tiny sandwiches, you know, like hand sandwich. Ah, see what I did there? Got a little, little, little. It's got meat inside that's shaped like a hand. Hand sandwich. It's beautiful. I love it. Mm. Getting enough rest after six hour marathon stream. Ibi Damon. Yeah, Evie was doing all sorts of things yesterday. If he was doing a long stream, he'd be dim streaming. Mm. I retweeted for you, by the way. I know it's the a little like a will see you now. What? And perhaps give you colorful candies. And give me coffee. Long live our master foamy. I got with the squirrel. Are we gonna have a little squirrel place in there? Like you want the 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 foamy to squirrel nature preserve in the back, where you just have a bunch of squirrels running around that people can play with. Because squirrels can be very friendly if you just, you know, hand out some acorns to them or, like, just various nuts. They love they love that. Dude, the squirrels in New York, they will come up to you and just go through your pro pockets looking for food. Like, literally. That's how I lost my wallet. Can we do dark gothic style D&D? You can do whatever you want. You'd be able to do whatever you want. That's the whole thing, as long as it's dark. That's our only stipulation. If you walk in there with, like... You know, a big smiley umbrella and dancing, At singing in the rain. How about the amazingly purple Mr. Hyde potion drink for Pauline? It takes eight ounces vodka, four ounces Amora liqueur, one ounce blackberry liqueur, one ounce lemon juice, and one ounce lavender syrup. That's actually a really good uh, beverage idea. But it's a cafe. Then we have to get a liquor license. Ah, that's work. And besides, I don't want to be around a bunch of drunk goths. No, nah, man, because then they get really depressing. And then they drive away customers. I want just highly caffeinated and slightly moody. That's what we're going for. 
<laughs> the slightly mooded, the slightly moody cafe. Uh. How about you call it Moody Blue? No, that's the name of a band. Damn it, the Moody Blues Cafe. That would have been good, but no, that's an old band that nobody wants to listen to now. Uh. I can bake my signature dark chocolate cake. I really want this cafe to happen. I'm already researching. Research, dude. That would be cool. Like everybody get involved. You know, I wouldn't even know where to start. But we would have to look it up. Like, you know, again, the location's the most important thing. You want, like, a high-traffic area with a lot of weirdos. Hot chocolate, too. Hot chocolate, too. There you go. The hottest of chocolate. Hill chocolate. Um, Probably Austin, Texas, frankly. Austin is, like, kind of a hot place, and it's not as, as expensive as Seattle. Um, So that might be good, because that's, like, the uh, it weird place right now. A lot of streamers there, too, for some reason. Hmm. Some cafes in Australia serve alcohol. Really? Wow. Oh, in America, you need a, like a particular license for it, so it gets all out of hand. Just got here. What did I miss? Everything. Hmm. Graveyard cafe. No. How about no? Graveyard cafe is too like. All right, here we go. Graveyard. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Grave expressions. No. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out. We'll worry about the name. The names will be easy to come up with. Trust me on this. I got a million of them. They're all in my brain. Um, thank you. Good morning. I hope you have a good vibes today because I'm not feeling well and I have to deal with screaming, crying children today. Boo. Boo. No children allowed in our dark gothic cafe unless they're moody like uh, Wednesday Adams. You want to read that? Oh, there's no with nothing to read. Cheers, Jenny. Jenny H, what's up? Thank you. Uh, keep Austin weird. Yeah, keep Austin weirder. Get me there. Come on, it'd be fun. I don't like the heat, though. I would really love to do it in a village in New York, but uh, would not succeed because it's not a Starbucks. Ah, <sighs> New York, what happened to you? <sighs> East St. Louis. Mm. Do not feed squirrels chocolate. They blow up. Who the hell's giving squirrels chocolate? You give them acorns and, and like, peanuts. Don't give them chocolate. Who's insane? Why would you do that? God. Why? Why? Going to think of more finger food for the cafe. Finger foods? Yeah. That's kind of like, yeah, that's the obvious one. You know, finger food shaped like fingers. Or deviled eggs shaped like eyeballs. That'd be pretty good, too. Hmm. Baby bats? Sure, why not? Bats. But we have to hire a, a professional bat keeper to, like, give chores and, like, make sure they're well taken care of. Because you got to make sure they don't get, like, uh, what do they call that wing thing that they got? There's, like, a wing thing where they get, like, a fungal thing, and it kind of can mess them up. I want to make sure they're, they're healthy, you know? Hmm. Dark uh, comedy is playing on the screen. That'd be pretty good. Burbank, California is a great location. There are actually a lot of small business, and this area is not populated with hipsters, just a lot of older people and businesses. Huh. Hmm. Burbank. Burbank, California. California. Yeah. You can make a goth cafe. Honestly, I, I hear there's a really big goth thing in Canada. There's like a very big like concentration of them somewhere. We should just move there, and I'll be appreciated. Ah, uh, I know we gotta find it. Mm. They stole from me. What? After it blew the park ranger got what? Weird how human make things only they can eat. I know, right? Well, somebody has to, right? Mm. Let's see. I meant baby bats as in, like, uh, oh, 10-year-old goths. Oh, I, oh, God. Yeah. Okay. No, but I like that. That's just, uh, that, you, no, mentioning that brought up the uh, bat, bat sanctuary. That would be, dude, whatever. I know, let's just focus on actually getting a location and then building the interior with, with Etsy people. You need to work a murder into the menu, something baked in the shape of crows. Yes, I want crow cookies. We can call them crookies. Crow wookies? No. 
I'll think of something. Thank you. Come to California. I need to rename my jewelry business from Vampire Nest since I have the site down for the moment as I take new photos. Hey. Thank you. No, I hate re you should rename your business too, by the way. Nobody gets ill will press anymore. Ugh. It's all will. All will. What's that? What's a press? Ugh. What about donuts? How about donuts that look like little vortexes to other dimensions? Thank you. What is it with you and animals? My hamster came out and heard you talking and has stayed still to listen to you talk. Hey, hamster, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. Good vibes to you. Midnight Harvest Coffee. Midnight Harvest Coffee. Dude, come on. We got this. We got this. Don't they have black sugar, too? They got to have black sugar. I'm sure, I'm sure it exists. You can sell black ice cream. You can make little sandwiches with dark bread. Um... Yeah, just everything you got. You guys know where we're going with this. It, it writes itself. Dawn of the Living Caffeine, food idea. Since it's a gothic cafe, use squid ink and dye the breads black. It gives a mommy flavor and it'll work with the sweetness of the drinks. Interior idea: go for the cross stitch design of windows. I want stained glass windows. Those really I love your bits. gothic dark and thank ones. You for them. Johnny, no note. Nah. I would be waiting to hear an announcement about murder at table one in your restraint. Oh, there you go. We could do uh, a mur murder theater. No, where we just, you know, get together a customer that's unruly and, you know. Do a Kickstarter for the cafe. You think that would work? I don't know, man, because we'd have to, like, hire managers and get, like, cooks and chefs and just connoisseurs of breweries and things like that. Coffee breweries. Thanks for the follow. Thank you. Um, Blue Moon Cafe. That's a thing, right? That's already a thing. No, did, um, or am I thinking about the Mexican restaurant chain? And then, like, Blue Moon or something? Whatever. What do you call a new goth? A rookie? A murder of cookies. Four crow-shaped cookies. Oh! Four because in Japan it's the number of death. That's good. That's a good... Dude, a murder of cookies. You can get, like, you know, a bunch of cookies that are crow-shaped. And be like, give me a murder of cookies. Yes. Good idea. How about homemade apple cider? The kicker being we put in skinned apples that have little faces carved out into them and place it into the cups of cider so it looks like there are shrunken heads in it. Lol. That'll be seasonal. Apple cider is totally a seasonal thing. It's really good when it's like chilly outside. And that's the thing. I want to I I open this place in a place that has seasons. You know, California has like one season. Well, maybe two. Hot or not so hot, you know? So it's like burning or a little too warm. Huh. I don't know. We got to find a perfect climate. Got to find a perfect climate. Tim Burton has that one bar in Hollywood which is high traffic and full of weirdos, but I don't think we want tourists. But CA does have a goth market. I highly support Burbank. Hiring wouldn't be hard because everyone here needs a job. There you go. And? Could I get a little milk in my coffee? Get out. <laughs> be chocolate milk. <laughs> chocolate milk. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, we, like, all the employees would have to be tested, though. We would have to test employees on their knowledge of the goth genre, you know? And it could specialize. They could specialize in particular things. They could be into, like, you know, dark metal from Europe, just as long as they know a lot about it. Um, you know, I want people with knowledge, like, in their brain, not, oh, I got wiki knowledge. Look, I looked it up. Hey, guys, look, did you know that the uh, original members of, uh, you looked it up. No, I want that in your head, just spat out at a moment's notice you know hmm. i want all the tables to have little screens in it too telling you what's playing on 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 the speakers inside a cafe so people don't have to be like oh, what's this song and you know what frankly if you don't know the song you shouldn't be there yeah i know i know the march violets are a little obscure but still what about the virgin perns <laughs> really digging the crates right there 
Oh, man. Louisiana is horrible for seasons. We have year-round hot, except for that one time every 5 to 20 years that it snows one day. Yep. Yep. I can't deal with heat. Is Cradle of Filth considered gothic-like metal? Um, Some people consider them. I can spell Susie and the Banshees. You're hired. There you go. <laughs> I can spell it. I can spell it right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, repost. I got uh, the part in the pie movie. Oh, pie movie. Uh, I wanted to thank you guys for the good vibes. Good vibes. See, they work sometimes. There you go. I'm sure that was all you, though. You know? Because you're an actor. <clears throat> Dude, that's awesome. Hey, let, seriously, like, let me know when it comes out because I actually want to see it. It sounds interesting. Ah, uh, congratulations. California has four seasons. Wildfire, mudslide, earthquake, and tsunami. Forever Halloween with Pauline and Pumpkin Guy. Love you guys. Johnny H, thank you. We're trying. Keeping Halloween alive. 365. Previously on Kingdom Hearts, your heart is the heart that's part of my heart. And thanks to your heartless, you made me a nobody and broke my heart. With my Keyblade, now I'm gonna break something to yours. Oh, that was a lag spike right there. What happened? Hi, and I'm Cody. expert on 90s alternative. Lol, also for the location if you're looking for seasons, Michigan is your best bet. We have all four seasons in one week. LMFAO. Nah, then we gotta rotate the menu constantly. You know, I want to know when a season's coming up, not like, oh, good, it's summer and it's snowing. I'm like, man, now I got to get the dead gingerbread cookies out. <sighs> no, gingerbread cookies with half their head missing and a, and a limb, you know, and you just put some food coloring at the thing where it looks like they're bleeding. And you could have a couple of them that look like they're crawling on the tray uh, uh, and looking behind them. And they're like, oh, my legs are missing. Yeah, you know, that kind of thing. That'd be fun. What? And then the, the leftover limbs you can have uses like little dog treats. Don't be wasteful. Um, let's see. All right, we are up on two hours. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because ginger dead cookies. There you go. Um, no, I did want, I wanted to address the greatness, the great gifty goodies that Rogue Alchemist sent. Because, it, no, it's like, re, it's been really helpful. And I, somebody remember, re, remember my brain of food. And, you know, high, hydrate bot is interrupting us anyway. So let's do this. Hold on. It'll be quick. It'll be quick. It was, it was just, I, I have I have to be appreciative because it was so cool. It was so cool. Hold on. Take... All right, all right, all right. Now, I wanted to take the time out, right? Because Rogue Alchemist, another patron of our channel here on Twitch, has decided to literally raid our Amazon wish list and, like, get us all the essential things we needed and why did it shake? That's weird. And also some fun stuff. So we're gonna get we're we're gonna do the work stuff, and people may not think it's a big deal, but this was a big help. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. It's it's a hard drive. I know. Well, what's the big deal? It's a hard drive, dude. You got no idea how much work we create. Okay. Not only did they did Rogue Alchemist. Thank you. Send us a two terabyte hard drive, also a four, a four terabyte hard drive. These things are very flipping durable. It's shock resistant, shock absorbent. You can drop kick it across a highway and it will still survive, hopefully. Um, and literally the four terabyte one, we literally, it's almost filled. That is how much work we've created over the course of two decades. And the reason, right, people want to know is when we recently had the tornado, like in our local area, we had to gather up all the important stuff we have, right? And kind of, you know, run down to the little basement we got and just kind of hide out until things blew over. We had to carry like, what was it? Seven, eight hard drives plus like Blu-ray, bl recordable Blu-ray media that has various things on it. It was a hassle. It took us like 20 minutes to get our crap together. Um, now, literally, we could just take two hard drive, have a lifetime of our work still saved, put it in a safe, and just bring it basement, we're safe. Especially if there's like a fire or something or anything like that. So, 
Rest assured, the work we have spent almost two decades working on will be safe. No, this is not sponsored. This is I want to thank them. This is what they sent us. Yes, it's by Transcend, but they didn't give me money for this. So if you want to use Western Digital, go nuts. Transcend, give me money. Um, no, I use these all the time. So there we go. And thank you for keeping our work safe. I had no idea how how long it takes to back up four terabytes of data. It takes hours. But that wasn't a big deal. Why? Because this was, this was a pleasant surprise. Look at this. Look at this. It's so shiny and new. Oh, my God. And excuse the glare. I don't want to take it out of the case. They also sent us the Gravity Days soundtrack. This is like one of my favorite games of recent history. I was like, oh, my God, are you kidding me? This thing is not easy to come by, and it's it's a little more expensive than it should be. But there's two discs. There's two discs. I got like halfway through the first one. No, but then it was like, you know, Dawn spilled soda. We had to help clean it up because her hand's like all messed up and stuff like that. No, but we are, it's got like cool little liner notes that I have to decode with Google Translate. It is literally from Japan. In America, it's called Gravity Rush. In Japan, it's called Gravity Days. Thank you. I'm enjoying it. It's great. And wait, there's more. One more thing. This is so cool. I love this thing. Hold on. Hold on. And... This, I didn't even notice existed until recently. And I'm like, oh my God, I would like to get this. I don't necessarily need it. But who wouldn't want? Oh. Dude, I kid you. It is literally death. We have death in a box. I know I was going to put air holes in it, but it's death. She don't need no air holes. I did not know they may actually made a, a can you center that? They, they made a pop of death from DC's Vertigo Sandman universe. Thank you. This, this thing is flipping adorable. And uh, Pauline and I have been fighting over who gets to play with it first. Um, I, I think we look good together. Dude, no, nah, man. I, I'll, maybe I'll ask her out. Think that'll be all right? No, Pauline and I are just friends. It's totally platonic. All right, so so uh, I got a, I got a girlfriend in a box, so that was pretty cool. I'm just making assumptions, but you know we'll we'll see what her ultimate decision is, and hopefully she won't kill me. Um, but thank you, this is adorable, and um um, uh, dude, I'm I'm gonna be looking at this every day. Thank you, Rogue Alchemist. Like literally, it cheered cheered me up. And what we got to do is because. Now that we, no, because we were like literally saving up for these hard drives because we kind of wanted to get cracking on those emergency backups. All right, we'll, we'll put her somewhere. Put her put her somewhere nice. Somewhere special. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Like showing that, I, I guarantee you there's like 12 people in chat looking on Amazon for her right now. They're like, what? There's a death vertigo wood pop. Give me that. Um, the, no, no, no. What we got to do is because literally we paid it forward. This is what we did. Because we saved money not having to buy the hard drives ourselves, we literally bought food at the local food store for, and I am not even joking about it. This We are these type of people. You know when they have like uh, food banks in local towns? We literally bought food for a food bank. We're just like, whatever. Well, you know what? We'll put a bunch of money towards like pastas and peanut butters and whatever else they need. And we just filled up a little shopping cart. And we literally, because of Rogue Alchemist, we literally fed the hung hungry with the extra money we had. I am not joking. If you guys want a receipt, I swear we got one. Um, so what do we got? We got them, we got them pastas and peanut butter and things. It was run by the uh, Knights of Columbus in your local town. They do food bank stuff. Every Saturday, they stand outside the supermarket and they give you a list when you walk in. They're like, you know, if you, if you can, maybe buy one or two items and help out, you know, people who are less fortunate. And we're just like, well, we're less fortunate and we've been helped out, so let's pay that forward. And we're like, pasta. Of course, pasta. You know, you got to be the stereotypical Italian. Hey, they'll love this pasta. You know, so, yeah, we got them a bunch of pasta. Dude, you can stretch pasta a really long time. Plus peanut butter, really big industrial size peanut butter. Love peanut butter. It's very good in protein. Um, some tuna fish. And uh, what was the other thing we got? Oh, the desserts. We got them a bunch of jellos because they literally, it was literally on the list. They're like, dude, jello. We're like, really? They want jello? I'm like, oh, yeah. We're getting them like all sorts of puddings and stuff. <laughs> dude, I was like, this is great. Um, so, yeah, we, we did do that. And you know what? So, there you go. 
Rogue Alchemist, not only have you helped end. artists. Enjoy. What are you doing? So, lady with the purple hair, how are you today? You gonna wake up with the thing with eyeballs and everything and we gonna hi hi hi. We should go out and get some coffee sometime. I'm trying to thank people. Don't forget to use coupons. The deposit was on sale. We didn't have any coupons. Um, so there you go. You know what? Rogue Alchemist helped us and we in turn got to help somebody else. You know? So thank you. And apparently these... Uh, the alerts are still on. So, again, Rogue Alchemist, thank you, thank you. I, are you here? God, I hope I didn't... Probably left. Thank you! Watch the VOD later. <laughs> thank you. We did get grilled by Dawn. Like, who is this Rogue Alchemist that keeps helping you out? Who who are they? I was like, don't worry about it. They're not even in this country. Just relax yourself. Um, <laughs> it was funny. Um... Let me get back to chat. <laughs> Hold on. Rogue Alchemist, thank you. You're literally helping everybody in this area. Yeah. Huh. All right. There we go. What is it? Ever try Helva? Helva good stuff? What, you mean the dip? Yes, I have. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, so Rogue Alchemist, Rogue Alchemist, wherever you are, thank you. It's much appreciated. And, uh, you know, again, we're, we're, we're all about kind of, you know, surprisingly enough... Hold on. Just chill, Don. You are in no danger. <laughs> I'm in no danger. And hold on. There's another one. It's coming. There you go. If you want to really help a food bank, give them only money. They can get more food in bulk than what you can buy. What about showing movies both classic and modern like The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari and The Craft, for example, for the cafe? Yes, that's a given. Oh, I'm never going to get a thought out. Nightmare Cafe with Trivia Murder Party Night. Yes. Oh my god, Nightmare Cafe. Ooh, that's a... That's actually the name of an old show, Robert England. It's pretty good. Um, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Um, and, and don't be that person, come on! We just, we helped out local people. And you're like, you know, you should have just given the money to the actual, you know. Sounds no, like a little local fundraiser by people. You know, just, that's, that's, that's all right. You know, it's like sometimes they have bake sales here too, where it's just like literally the local church will get a bake sale for like, you know, the underprivileged people in the area. And it's just like, it's it's cool. It's when we gain like 15 pounds because we buy a bunch of brownies. <laughs> We're terrible. Ah, oh, man. But, uh, you know, like I was saying. Oh, Ooh, mad. Here. 20 moons. Thank you so much, Jim, Dawn, Pumpkin Guy, and Pauline. I love you all. 20 moons! I like that name, Nightmare Cafe. It has a nice ring to it. It's also copyright by some company that owns it. I think it was CBS. Um, like I said, it used to be a TV show that had Robert England in it in the mid to late 80s. Or it could have been 92. I don't flip it now. Um, but yeah, again, like I was saying, surprisingly enough, we... we we're generally kind-hearted people, and when people are, like, kind to us, we kind of like to push that forward. So, you know, like, helping out, you're helping out, we're helping out. Mm. Also, sorry for missing the stream. It's fine. Any Black Thorn, 20 moons! You are seriously awesome, Pumpkin. I am so glad I found this stream. It Thanks. sure has brought me so much joy over the last month. Keep up the amazing work. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for the follow. Um, no, like doing this is, 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 is a joy for us as well. So it's like, you know, you're usually stuck in a little box, you know, working on your little cartoon. So this is, this is you getting out and mingling. Makes me wonder what happened if someone would do surprise you or Don with a brand new computer. Oh, no, no warning. No. Just here. Here's a new computer with four terabytes or so storage and side note, voodoo brownies, spicy brownies that put you under a spell. Oh, how about, um, friend. hold on. Achille, thank you. <laughs> Williams, thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, man. How about, how about just spellbound brownies? That work? They're spellicious? I don't know. We'll, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. Uh, no, I just, I just wanted to, like, you know, uh, Again, I, everything's appreciated. You know, you guys being here is appreciated. Um, 
No, dude, it's the reason we get up uh, Sundays and Wednesdays and stay unconscious in our creative haze the rest of the week. It's true, you know? Hmm. Now, don't ask who... Uh, Here's the last of my bits for now. Yeah. Awesome stream. Pumpkin back. Great people in chat. Hail the Lord and Master. Foamy. Yeah. I, I guess I'll raise my hands for the squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Foamy and I would get along. Maybe. I think we're both kind of logical. I think that would kind of work out. But, uh... Ah, oh, he's so aggressive, you know? They're very opinionated. Oh, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, thank you. Um, Rogue Alchemist on it, everyone, who helps folk out such as... Uh, wait, oh, God. Such, such a fashion. In such a fashion. Okay, I'm trying to read that. Mm. Also, a few people are waiting for art streams. Oh, yeah. Well, now that I can't play music, who knows? Who knows when that'll happen? Literally, literally you, you kind of thrive on music it's like music is your little energy so if i win the lottery i will fund you and don for the next 10 years with everything you would need to keep doing this wonderful stream that me and my family love to watch every sunday yeah awesome i think we got everything between ash ash Veratu, you know they do they hooked us up with a really good monitor um you know do rogue alchemist sense of stuff everyone's been helping out with bits and things i mean we're we're good you know, we got the Patreon. Every, everything's, everything's, you know, going according to as good as I could expect doing creative stuff for, like, how long? Forever. Um, you know, if YouTube just was on board with everybody else's good vibes here, I think we'd be set. I think we'd be set, YouTube. We'd be fine. Just let you know. You want, you want to let local people starve. That's fine. For the book section of the cafe, you need Nightmare Inspector. Well, I need to go get groceries. Good day and good vibes to all. Thank and you for bar. all you do, Jim and company. Thank you, Breads Bubba. I also want to get Corpse Party in there. Like all those weird horror uh, mangas. The mangas. We get a bunch of those in there. I really want to do this cafe thing. You know, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe we could get like little cutouts of Pauline up there too. I guess she's not interested. Whatever, we'll just, we'll just have a uh, death. Sandman's death, just hanging out there. That's the other thing. We want. I want Ten the. Uh, what joys this shall bring to the fiscally irresponsible? Thank you, Vlad. Jim, here's a twenty. What? Get working on that Amityville toaster. I need a toaster that turns regular bread into wheat toast. Wheat <laughs> bread turn into pumpernickel bread. Pumpernickel turn into blueberry muffins, and bagels turn into pork chops or steaks. Why isn't science done that? I mean, we shouldn't have to rely on the on the dark magic of others when science is just wasting our time on like pimple creams, you know? Come on, science, make me make me a toaster that can change bread into meats. <sighs> Come on, it's very vegan friendly, you know. If you can manifest meat out of, uh, you know, bread, you you dude. Not only would you be considered a god, um, uh, you wouldn't have to kill any animals. You would just have to, have, you know, have some bread. No. Whatever, it's a good idea. Mm. Uh, YouTube rage. Pauline cutouts. I think we did call no, just yeah, they were they were they're on somewhere. Um there you go. Maybe something a little less pink next week. Um, we'll see. But I don't know what we're gonna end this with now. We don't have I don't think we can uh, uh legally play the uh candy song now. Do we have like a, a spooky doopy kind of thing that you've made? Something that we haven't... Oh, outro. I want candy. Bubblegum and taffy. You going to do it? I'll do it. All right. Anyway, <laughs> here's the last of my bits. Uh, I'll see if I can find a YouTube alt for you to use. It. They don't exist. They're, like, so negligible in uh, existence. They, like, kind of just... <laughs> Instagram started their own TV, but they, they do everything uh, cell phone ways so it's like literally the width of my body is the screen you gotta work I return. with wrap them on you return as if as we're leaving it's come on two hours 17 minutes we gotta wrap this up um what do i that's my snails snails i want snails in the garden at the cafe be the snail garden don't tempt him twitch he'll do it 
I'll do it. All right. But there we go. Wrap it up. Um, end of candy song. Something, something, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, we got to do. Uh... Oh, God. You, I don't know. I'll, I'll look into the Twitch thing to see if we can get our music back. Um, they said it was accidental. But uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see. I'll look more into it. And maybe there'll be no, more news about it as it goes. What happened to your closers? Oh, God. Huh. Here are the rest of my bets. Let's really do this Cafe Foray Alls. Thanks for a great stream and have a good vibes week. Good vibes week. Thank you, Tizanda. What? Thanks for the follow. Um. Yeah, is Evie doing things? Uh, Evie's doing things. You're awake. Okay. So, you know, no, we'll hang out here. We'll give Evie some, Evie Eat some time. Eat cupcakes. Eat cupcakes. Uh, I, I think I will. I think I will. As soon as I can find them. As soon as I can find cupcakes, I will, I will gobble those down. I think Dawn is making some kind of food, which is uh, inevitably going to end up half on the floor, probably on the counter. <sighs> She's very clumsy. She's very clumsy. You guys know this. Um, hmm. Play the goth squirrel song. We don't have that queued the up. Doctor will see you now. And perhaps give you colorful candy. Blackbird. Why not just play leave on a joke? Leave on a joke. Why would I want to leave on a joke? Like life is funny. Thanks for the follow. Uh, I keep, dude, it distracts me. Every time I see a pop-up, I never think it's a follow for some reason. Ah, oh, thanks for the follow. Mm -mm -mm. Bye, Jam Chat. Have a great week. Yay. All right, let's see. What what shall we leave this on? Hmm. Hmm. Tossed a photo of my two pet snails in Discord. Ooh. Dude, you really got snails? I thought you were joking. Put a stamp on them. They'll be snail mail. Ah, oh, don't put stamps on snails. Neurotically yours theme. Um, we don't have that queued up either. You are just terrible. Do that, uh, whatever weird song. All right. Mama Linda says she will miss you until Wednesday and that she loves ah. being a new fan of yours. Mama Linda, thank you. Welcome to the world that is whatever we do here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, no, I'm glad we got fans. We got a new fan. I cherish everyone. So, you know, enjoy your week. And if we see you Wednesday, great. If not, may your Wednesday be great. May your week be great. May your decade be wonderful. The entire decade. No excuse. Um, Let's see. Later, Matthew, later. Yes, I have too. Oh, you do? Okay, that wasn't a joke. No, I got pet snails. What, really? Wow. That is cool. Pet snails. Nine inch snails, nine inch snails, March of the Slugs. Oh, God. Don't forget, Patreon has many things for people who. Pa yeah, there is a Patreon. I don't. People promote me more than I do myself. I'm more concentrated on this. Uh, hope the cafe happens. We'd love to see it. Um, we should really look into that and just see what the possibilities are. But, you know, location again is key, and we'd have to kind of like, you know, figure it out. That'd be cool. Then we can do like book signings, too. Book signings. We can get a. Uh, Oh, get Neil Gaiman. Tell him to show up. Be like, yo, just sign some books. I guess Amanda Palmer can show up too. God. <sighs> no, I just, I don't want her to get all political with her piano and ruin the vibe, man. You know what I'm saying? God. No, I enjoy her music, but I'm just like, you know, it's supposed to be dark, gloomy. If she wants to play girl anachronism, then come on down, you know? It's a good, it's, it's an awesome song, dude. Come on. Uh, notice me. Danker, what's going on? How you doing? You doing all right? We're waiting for Evie now. I know this is like the slow roll, a slow push out the door. Waiting for Evie Demon. Waiting for Evie Demon streaming. Starting up my computer. <laughs> waiting to hear the little, little dial up. <laughs> If we are serious about the cafe, I will defiantly come out, even if I have to drive several hours because coffee. <laughs> you imagine? I wonder if we can make like an online coffee thing. That'd be cool. You know, it's like a little virtual thing where everybody can have a virtual avatar and just hang out and talk. Ten dollars. What? What joys this shall bring to the fiscal responsible? Thank you. Keep on keeping on.
Death Froud. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's much appreciated. Uh, keep on keeping on. Ebi Dimon. Ebi Dimon streaming. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And, uh, I know. I know. This is like an awkward exit for me. I'm just waiting on Evie. You know? It's like, you ever do that? You work at a job at retail and you see the person who's supposed to got the, who has the next shift? Coffee is life. It is. It is. It is in a way. Thank you. Clearly. Um, you ever do that? You're just sitting at the register and then the next person that's supposed to relieve you from your duties just shows up late and you're just like, yeah, no, I'll be like five minutes. Just give me a second, bro. And you're just like, all right. And you're sitting there at the register. How can Pauline sleep with her bloodstream being a coffee stream? Because she's narcoleptic. I don't know. This caffeine has no effect. So, yeah, I'm just, just waiting there. Just waiting there. I'm just you know, looking at the clock, you know, saying, dude. I should have been out of here 24 minutes ago, man. Evie's being all late. Oh, man. You know, of course, nobody's going to reprimand her because it's just like, whatever. She just floats in when she wants to. I'm just going to sit here. Just stare at the clock. God, I hope I don't get any more customers. I'm going to talk to them. That's going to be a big deal. And then, you know, it's like right before they're about to relieve you, you get the most obnoxious customer on the planet who, like, drags you around the entire store. And you're like, dude, if I was out of here 10 minutes ago, Evie would have to be dealing with this. But no, no. Why show up on time for work? You know, it's just a minimum wage paying job anyway. It's the whole thing about retail. Yep. Should have been out of here 24 minutes ago. It's fine. In 45 seconds. Evie. Then you get on the intercom and you're like, Evie, 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 to the front register. Shh. Shh. Evie, Evie, to the front register. We got some customers here that want to go home. Evie, shh. Meanwhile, she's just still still fiddling with her backpack in, 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 in the back room, just like, you know, whatever, I got to put this thing in my locker, and then you start talking to people. And, you know, because every time you show up at work, you be there at 2, and then you, re you really don't, like, get to where you got to be within your job till like, 2.30. First half hour is you, you know? But I know, it's a George Carlin bit. It's pretty good. You needed your sleep. Yeah, yeah. No, you ever, you ever tell that to somebody in retail, like your boss in retail? No, I'm sorry I'm late. I needed my sleep. What are you, <laughs> what are you kidding me? Oh, oh, sorry, 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 boss. I need my sleep. Get out of here. There is no sleep for the creative. What are you doing? Yeah. Paging Evie Demon, you streaming yet? Shh. Evie Demon streaming. Hello? Evie Demon. All right, this is getting ridiculous. Um, Evie's going to be up in like a couple of seconds. Um, yeah, let her get ready and stuff. But uh, <laughs> she's like, oh my God, <laughs> come on. We're just messing with you, Evie. Evie Damon, we love you. Oh, man. That's classic. Uh, this is what's cool, though. We could like, we could just joke with each other, even though she's probably cursing me in her sleep. Uh, that's okay. I'm working on, I'm working on it. <laughs> No, that's all right, Evie. T take all the time you need. I, I know. I had a rough night. Yeah, I didn't get enough sleep. It's okay. Should have been out of here 26 minutes ago. Please report to aisle stream. Please report to aisle stream. <laughs> uh, I love you too. Yeah, that makes up for it. That makes up for it. That's all right. No, I'll, I'll just miss my bus. I'll, I'll miss my bus home and, and show up another extra. I'll wait another 45 minutes for the next bus. That's fine. Yeah, it's probably right there right now. And then you can hear it in the background where it's like, Shh. and I'm like, oh, great, 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 great. I, I can hear it. I can hear the people boarding it. And then it's like, then you hear it go off into the distance and you're like, oh, hey, Shh. Avery Demon, I, I missed my bus. Take all the time you want. I'm going to be sitting Every in the aisles now. Hurry Thanks. Before the ducks escape. You're going to drive me home, Evie, what, after your shift six hours from now? Oh, that, that's convenient. Let me wait wait around 45 minutes for a bus or six hours to get a ride home. <sighs> Avery Damon, there's a duck on a loose. Shh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, this gag has gone on long enough. All right, I'm I'm wrapping it up. I'm wrapping it up. I'm gonna wait at the bus stop for 45 minutes, thanks to Evie Demon. Ibn Demon now streaming when she gets there. Um, and uh, I don't know, stare at the pink menace for a little while while we wrap up the stream with some unknown song we have to pick. I'm streaming. She's like, I'm streaming. I'm streaming. I'm here. I'm out. I'm I'm, I'm here. Right, right. Go, go home. Get your bus. I already missed my bus, Evie. I already missed the bus. That's it. It's over. No, I guess, I guess I'll walk several blocks to get a cup of coffee. And then just, you know, by the time I get back to the bus, it'll, you know, maybe it'll show up and I'll, you know, have idle conversations with strangers at a bus stop who probably really don't want to talk to me. But, hey, I don't have anything to do there because, uh, you know, my, my phone battery is slowly dying. I can't, like, really sit there and listen to music all day because I'm just going to waste my battery. got to save that for an emergency, you know, but that's all right. I just sit there and just stare at the grass growing on this hot, hot, humid day. Sun burning my skull because I got to wait 45 minutes for the bus that I missed because of EB Demon. That's all right. Okay, uh, song, everything. EB Demon's now streaming. Finally. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Thank, thanks for, you know, being part of the joke. Um, and thanks for putting up with everybody. And thanks for supporting Rogue Alchemist. Thank you again. Um, everybody, thank you. We still got more stuff to back up, though. So let's get doing that right after we're done with this. We got to edit. And then probably clean up the kitchen after Dawn's attempt at making food. Oh, we're all going to die. 